Not yet picked up your quick time board here today and you heard one they've got them down there at the maxis trailer if you go on down there and see them to get that picked up please we are getting ready to post those starting orders for those two Concy races here momentarily again if you qualify in spots 21 through 46 you are eligible Trying to get one of those last four starting spots for the Max Daddy. again like to acknowledge all of our class sponsors for coming on board 
and supporting us here for the Max Teddy for 2024. Thanks to the folks at Bennett Electrical Service, Brad Scruggs Performance, Insanity Speed Elixir, Hubbreaker Preps, Buff Builders, Quality Collision Solutions, 542 Solutions, J. Carter Logging, MC Motorsports, The Chop Shop, Air Mechanical, and Moon McManus. Stepping up, making it happen here for 2024. We thank you folks for your support. We thank you for being here.
right, folks, we're getting ready to get underway with the first of what's going to be two Consies to set the final four starting spots for the Max Daddy. At this time, Consie number one, looking for 13 drivers for that. If you're racing, look for you making your way down here to the grid area. That's Rodney Ice, Mikey Kaiser, Blake Wynn, A.J. Miller, Hunter Adams, Braden Parsley, Carson Hallman, Justin Dobson, Tristan Jones, Jennifer Seawright, Jeremy Cox, Cody Stange, and Timmy Price. If you are racing your Consi, again, top two to the main event for those. It's going to be eight lap Consi's here today. Eight laps, top two, going to transfer. Looking for the drivers for Consi number one, making your way down here to the grid area. Consi number one for the Max Daddy, be making your way to the grid. Consi two, have them ready. Again, Consi one, Ice, Kaiser, Wynn, Miller, Adams, Parsley, Hallman, Dobson, Jones, Seawright, Cox, Sange, and Price. We need you making your way down here to the grid if you are racing your Consi. Looking for those 13 for Consi number one for the Max Daddy, making your way down. Yeah, folks, just so you're aware, once we start these main events here today, we will have a clock and a horn down here on the grid. Once you hear the horn blast, you've got 90 seconds to put your card on the grid. If you are not down there, wind up in your side spot by the time that 90 seconds is up and you make it down there, you will start in the rear of these races. We don't want to have to do that to you. Make sure you're down here on time. We're going to try to do everything we can here today. Give everybody the time they need to get down here. But we do have to keep it fair for everybody. So once you hear that horn, you've got 90 seconds to put them down here on the grid here today. That's going to be for all main events. Getting at this time, we're looking for class number one. Looking for our first Consi for the Max Daddy. Consi one of two for the Max Daddy. Be making your way in the grid if you're not already there. Consi number one. 
the grid. Again, going to be eight laps for each one of these two contests. Top two from each going to transfer to the main. All right, guys, 90 seconds. We're firing the engines for con seat number one for the Max Daddy. We should have you down here. 13 of you if you're racing. That's the 90 seconds. We're going with our first of two con seats. Con seat number two, have them ready. After we roll these two con seats, it's not going to be long at all. We're going to be into our main events. We've seen three heavy, two two heavy, rookie prelude. First three main events of the day. Be getting them ready. Last call for the 18C of Cody Stange. Last call, 18C, Cody Stange. Only one we're missing in the grid for this first Concy. We've got 12 or 13 of them down there. And they're firing the engines. Again, eight laps going to be the distance here. We'll transfer top two finishers to the main event for the Max Natty. Starting up front, cart number 88, Rodney Ice from second, 33K of Mikey Kaiser. Blake Wynn, 99 from third, AJ Miller in the 548 from fourth. Then Hunter Adams, Braden Parsley, Carson Hallman, Justin Dobson, Tristan Jones, Jennifer C. Wright, Jeremy Cox, and Timmy Price. Going to be 12 of them going for two spots here. Eight lap sprint. Top two spots, the only ones that matter in this one. All right, here we go. Rodney Ice going to bring them down. Flagman looks them over, says they're good, and Green is out. Top two, Rodney Ice and Mikey Kaiser break away through the first set of corners. They'll fan out three wide for a moment. Down the back straight away for third. 202, Hunter Adams to the inside. On the move up into the top three with one lap complete. That 202 is charging. Here he comes. Looking for the transfer spot. Rodney Ice has it. Hunter Adams trying to take it away. He's to the back bumper. Dives down low in turn one. Takes a look. Not enough to get there. Is your leader wide off a of turn two and now top four. Bumper to bumper into turn three and four. They'll change it for the transfer spot. 
Hunter Adam from fifth on the grid up to second. Looking to make it into the show here. As they'll see halfway this time around, four down and four to go. Hunter Adams looking to the inside. We'll have a new leader in turn three from fifth on the grid. It's Adams leading the charge off of turn four. But here comes card 12. Braden Parsley down low looking for the lead in one. Braden Parsley from sixth spot. And now with six complete, less than two to go here in Kotsi number one. Hunter Adams brings the field off a of turn four. White flag in the air. Last lap around. Top two looking safe here. Hunter Adams and Braden Parsley going to be your two transfers from race number one as they'll bring it to the strike. Again, those two started back in fifth and sixth and were able to work their way to the front in just eight laps. Steal away those two transfer spots. Second Conte for the Max Daddy. You should be in the grid ready to go. All right, guys. 90 seconds. We're going with our second Conte. Cooper Quick, Avery Franklin, Daniel Simmons, Sam Platt, Jonathan Draper, Blinch, Brent Shelton, Bryson Duncan, Barrett Terry, Carson Cox, Noah Barrett, Ashton Starnes, Colin Stevenson, and Brady Stanley. If you're racing, you got about 60 seconds to put them in the grid. From the top spot, it comes in number two, 341 of Cooper Quick with Avery Franklin in the 116 going from second. Daniel Simmons, Kurt 06 from third, Sam Platt from fourth, and Jonathan Draper in the 4D from fifth. Again, eight laps, top two going to transfer. Our second and final Conte of the day. Good jump for pole man Cooper Quick. Might have been a little too good there, yep. Jerry Strickland did not like what he saw up there from the flag stand. We're going to wave that one off, try it again here. Three forty-one of Cooper Quick gonna bring him down slow into the start zone this time. Able to launch away again this time. Flagman says it's good. Green is out. Quick able to jump away by half a current length by the time they got the one and two. Cooper Quick and Avery Franklin up here at the top two spots. They'll change it for third. Down in three and four. Now the crossover off the fourth corner. Simmons back up to the third spot as we're one lap complete. Two down, now six to go, and Simmons going to close that door. 
Up to the back bumper of Avery Franklin. That's for the transfer spot. Franklin has it. Simmons trying to take it away. He's there all turn four. Now Franklin looking down low for the lead. Now with help down the back straight away. New leader in turn three. It's Avery Franklin out front now. Franklin and Simmons up here at the transfer spots. Here comes Daniel Simmons, third leader of the race. Daniel Simmons now toes the field off a of turn four. Pole man Cooper quick has shuffled his way back up to second. Brent Shelton in the 34, now third. He'll give up a couple spots now. Shelton back to fifth. Daniel Simmons scooting away here as we're going to be white flag this time around. One more to go. Simmons got it sealed up. The battle's going to be for second. Here comes Barrett Terry, and here comes Ashton Starnes. They'll change it for third. That's going to be good news for the 341. It's going to be Simmons taking the win, and Cooper quick across for second, taking the final transfer spot into the 2024 Max Daddy. Okay. <laughs> Junior three heavy first main event of the day. Please be making your way down here to the grid area. Race time here at Talladega for the 2024 Max Daddy. Junior three heavy first main event out. Be making your way down.
We can get all of our Maxis track officials to be manning your battle stations and our first class Junior 3 Heavy making your way down here in the grid area. Junior 3 Heavy, race time. Again, thank you folks so much for coming out here this weekend, joining us at the Talladega Raceway Park, where we're getting ready to do battle for the 2024 Max Daddy Bracket Rights. Before we get underway with our first main event that we've got forming up down here on the grid, Junior 3 Heavy, we would like to have everybody in the house please rise if you are able. And gentlemen, please remove your hats. And we'll start with an invocation of Mr. Jerry Strickland, followed by the playing of our national anthem. Thank you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for such a beautiful day that you gave us in your creation that you as own hands, Lord, give us this. Lord, there's a lot of prayers coming your way, Lord. We just ask you for safety on the track, Lord. We just ask you for safety going home. Lord, if we can get up and go to your house in the morning, thank you for everything you do for us, Lord. We just get up and thank you. But we can close our eyes right now and thank you, Lord. We don't have to be in your house. We are in your house. We just celebrated the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And Lord, that is one feeling, knowing that your son died upon that cross for our sins, that we forever have glory if we just accept you in our life. Lord, there's a lot of prayers coming your way. Lord, I ask you that on a personal note, Lord, that you just be with the family up around the house, Lord, the Moats family has a... You got one of your workers this week, Mike Motes. Lord, I ask you that you, as you lay their uh, body to rest, them, that you just touch the family, Lord, and give them strength and comfort, knowing that he's up there with you, Lord, and you're promised that if we'll live by your rules, we'll be by your right side at the table. Something that we do. Thank you so much for everything you do. Before we end this prayer, Lord, I just have a special guest here, Lord, that we just we think is fitting that he close us out with this. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, or as our brothers to the south call you, hey Zeus, we thank you so much for this bountiful harvest of Domino's, AFC, and the always delicious Taco Bell. I just want to take time to say thank you for my family, my two beautiful, beautiful, handsome, striking sons, Walker and Texas Ranger. Lord, we do thank you. And this is something that makes us laugh, Lord. I, I know you're a father of humor because we're here. But I do ask that you just watch over each and every person on their way home tomorrow, Lord. And thank you for never turning your back on us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
And with that, folks, we're getting ready to get the engines fired. We are getting ready to shake and bake here at Talladega for the 2024 Max Daddy Junior 3 Heavy. Last call down here to the grid for your main event. You should be here ready to go. Junior 3 Heavy, final call. First main event of the day here at Talladega, set to go green, 22 cards strong, 15 laps in junior three heavy. Brayson Riddle in the 96, going to lead them down for the first time, and Flagman going to say no-go on that one. A little fast up there at the front rear pole, man, so we'll try them again here. Brayson Riddle, Clay Bellamy, Logan Walston, Landon Gatlin. Regan Schulten, your top five starters. Again, for what's going to be a 15-lap main event here. Second race of the day. Junior 2 Heavy, you can start making your way to the grid. Junior 2 Heavy, next out. Riddle leaves the charge off a turn four. Green flags out for the first time in this one. And it's Brayson Riddle by Cartley. Two Cartleans off a turn two over Clay Bellamy. Battle's going to be for fourth off in a turn three. We've got contact. We've got multiple carts involved in this one. Five, six carts going to pile into it. With no laps complete, we'll go caution.
Second attempt at a start here in Junior 3 Heavy. Race and Riddle banks it back to the restart zone. Clay Bellamy stays with him. Off a turn two down the back. They've got about a current length of a third place man, Logan Walston. We got more trouble here off a of turn two. Seven of Lance Lewis involved off the top side of turn two as that one has come to a stop. And again, caution right back out here after two attempts. Still no laps complete. Third attempt at a start. Junior three heavy. So we'll bring them all turn four one more time. Grayson Riddle play Bellamy. Logan Walston. Your top three down the back. Again, the battle's going to be for fourth off into turn three. Four of Landon Gatlin going to be hung up on the outside. Going to lose all kinds of spots down the front. And off a of turn two, still trying to find his way back down in line. He finally does back there about the 10th spot. Up front, it stays the same. Brayson Riddle and Clay Bellamy with Logan Walston trying to keep touch there. Three laps complete this time around. And this one going to go for 15, so we need that next class. Rookie Prelude, make it your way down to the grid area. Rookie Prelude, next out. Quick time of the race last time by Regan Shelton in the 9S back in fifth, 11.279. Trying to close that gap down. Out front, Brayson Riddle still holds about a three car length advantage over Clay Bellamy. Tyler Walston starting to come on strong here as he'll close the back to the back bumper for second. Now seven laps complete, and it'll get, get tighter there for a second. Clay Bellamy and Logan Walston, both of those cars trying to run down your leader. If they can work together here, they might just be able to do it. Using that draft, cutting that gap down to your leader. Here they come. Bellamy to within a car length now for the top spot with nine complete. Coming up towards five to go when they get here this time. Rookie Prelude, you should be in the grid. Rookie Prelude to the grid. Next made event on the track. We're down to less than four to go, and here comes straight away Clay Bellamy, closing the gap to the back bumper of your leader. To within half a cart length now, close as he's been all race since the start, with just three to go. The 22 machine coming on strong as they'll see lap traffic ahead, and two to go from flagman Jerry Strickland. Riddle throwing the block down the back. Bellamy to the back bumper in three and four. Tries to move him. Can't do it. Riddle leading him down to the white. 
Bellamy's going to have one more shot at him here as Riddle drops it all the way to the bottom. He'll lock the break. Here comes the dive bomb for third. Bellamy back down to the inside. Bellamy going to win it in a wild one to the finish. And they started playing games up there for the lead. The nine just tossed it down in there, trying to take that win away in turn three. Walston going to get a piece of it. Regan Shelton, the one that made the big move down there, trying to take that. As he'll end up in the wet stuff down there at the bottom of three and four. Through it all came Clay Bellamy, and Bellamy going to score the win in junior three heavy here today. Clay Bellamy. Rookie Prelude going in less than 90 seconds with your main event should be in the grid. Junior Wing main event coming up. Be getting ready. Also, Junior One Heavy coming up. Rookie Prelude should be here. We got about 60 seconds. We'll fire those engines. Junior two heavy set to go green. This time off turn four. They're 15 lap main. Dance away. 
Hudson Barrett from the point. Towing him down the back. Bryson Smith on the back bumper. Gives him a shove off of turn four. Smith looking down low for the lead. The dirt field wheel up into turn one. Get to the top spot. John Hindley to second. And now they'll be side by side for third. Cowboy Carter picking up a spot in turn three. Carter down to third. The fan out three wide for fourth. And that lets your top three jump away. Bryson Smith, John Hensley, and Cowboy Carter leading it with three complete. Boston Smith, he's under pressure down at turn 22 as he'll give up a spot. Lane Woods for 192. Good to see Lane back in the seat of McCartan here this weekend. Been racing car for about the last year or so. Going to saddle here today, picking up Bob. He's worked his way up into the top five. It's all Bryson Smith through six laps, working a big lead now. About 15 car lanes over what's about to be a battle for second. Carter has drilled in the back bumper of Hensley. Just a half a car lane back now for that spot. As we're working lap eight this time off a of turn four, eight down, seven to go. Rookie Prelude should be in the grid next out. Junior Wing, a main event. Have your parts ready. Leader in the slower traffic down here in turn three and four. That's going to cost him a lot of time. And we're down to less than four to go. That's going to let John Hensley close the gap down to less than five car lanes. And the nine still charging as there's still more lap traffic ahead. Twelve down, less than three to go. Smith going to catch more slower traffic down here in turn three and four. Gets him crossed up down the front straightaway. Hensley going to close that gap down even more. Hensley through the traffic cleanly. He'll put it down to three lanes in the three and four. White flag in the air this time around. Bryson Smith off a of turn two. Hensley not going to be able to get to him. It's going to be Smith taking him off a of turn number four. Bryson Smith down to the start finish. Taking one for the chop chop. He'll score the win. In your junior two heavy main, Bryson Smith over John Hensley, Cowboy Carter, Hudson Ferris, and Declan Willis. And the 100 bringing it home fifth.
Green flag out for our rookie prelude main. Eight laps the distance for this one. Junior wing, junior wing, main event time. Need you guys making your way in the grid. Junior wing, next out. Two laps complete this time around. Camp Crawford still out front. 24, Grayson Lofton closing the gap down for the lead, though. He's going to be there off a of turn two, pokes the nose out to the inside. They'll be side by side in the turn three. Lofton's got to give him room. Crawford still got it out front, but here comes Lofton again down low. And there's slow traffic ahead, and Lofton going to snake his way through. Puts the 24 out front. Not for long, though. Crawford going to cross him back up into turn three. Crawford back to the point. Now it's a three-car battle up here at the front. Here comes Wyatt Proctor. Another bid for the lead, Grayson Lofton. He'll clear him off in a turn three. This time he'll be able to hold the bottom. He'll secure the lead off a of turn four. Just able to clear him off that second corner. Holds the lead in cart 24. And they'll be coming to six complete this time. Right, we'll have two to go. They put on a great show here since the drop of the green going to be coming towards the white flag this time off a of turn four lap traffic ahead for your leaders here they come side by side Crawford back down low used all the racetrack down in the mud taking the lead there to the white Cam Crawford final time into three and four he got him Cram Crawford gonna win it no wild race to the finish after they got crossed up in slower traffic Crawford able to score it Grayson Lofton going to come home just short in second. Great race for both of those young drivers. White Proctor, 97, with a good run there in third. Sawyer Chavis, fourth. Diesel Hobbs, fifth. And Sutton Denham for sixth spot. The rookie prelude made a bit. All right, looking for our junior wings down here to the grid for your main. We need junior one heavy, stock super heavy, and stock heavy to be getting ready.
20 lap main event coming at you here for the Junior Wings. Jackson Darnell and Clark number six from the inside of row number one. Green flag in the air. Darnell leads the charge off a of turn two as they'll fan out for second. Here comes the 29. Liam Kane diving to the inside for that spot as they'll make contact off a of turn four. Still side by side with one lap complete. Leaning on each other off a of turn two that time. Kane going to take the spot away and now they'll fan out for third. Leader Jackson Darnell has checked out with just two laps complete. Huge advantage for cart number six, Darnell, Liam Kane, Tyler Buzzy, Kevin Musgrave, and Jane and Cordell. Your order here now with four complete this time off of turn four. Junior one heavy, junior one heavy. Need you making your way down here at the grid. Next out for your main event, junior one heavy to the grid. Junior one heavy. Still Jackson Darnell with a big advantage. As they're coming to eight complete this time around, Darnell, Liam Kane, Tyler Budley. Kevin Musgrave ran the quickest lap of the race last time back there in the fourth spot. Car number 53. Long ways back of your leader, though. Next time by, they'll be looking for halfway. Again, we'll need Junior 1 Heavy. Next main event, making your way in the grid area. Junior 1 Heavy. Best battle on the racetrack still for that third spot as we're winding the laps down. Going to be 17 complete this time around. We'll have three laps to go. Been all Jackson and Darnell since we dropped the green. 1.6 seconds out front of second place Liam Kane now. And we're going to be coming to two to go this time off four. Junior one heavy. You should be in the grid for your main event. Junior one heavy. Next out. White flag of the air this top around for your junior wings main. Jackson Darnell going to take them wire to wire. This one wheels the six off a of turn four. Underneath the checkered flag, Jackson Darnell going to be your winner. With Liam Kane bringing the 29 home in second. Tyler Buzzy third. Kevin Musgrave fourth. And Jaden Cordell in the 317 across for fifth. And in the 20 lap main for the junior wings. Coming up next, Junior One Heavy overdoing the grid. Junior One Heavy should be here ready to race. Stock super heavy. Stock heavy. And the box stock wing main. First call for that one. Be getting ready.
Looking for a green in our junior one heavy main event off turn four. Here we go. Green's out for our first attempt. Caleb Nibel from the pole. Lead him off a of turn two. They'll change it for second down the back. Camden Harp going to pick up one here early. And we got one slow back straight away. That one may not be under power. Caution. We got another spinner in the bales here off a of turn four. So caution out. It's going to be zero complete. No laps. Next main event out. Stock Super Heavy. Let's be making your way down to the grid. Stock Super Heavy.
Going to try them again here. Flagman says they're good. Green's back out. Caleb Nava wide off a of turn two, but able to hold on to the lead. And again, Camden Harp going to be able to make that move for second. Early on, Harp going to pick up one. Braylon Morris going to follow through to third. Single card spun off the top side of turn four. Caution. All right, folks, we're still trying to get this one to a green flag. We are no laps, nine and a half minutes in. And these races do go for 15 laps or 15 minutes, so hopefully we can get this one going here. Here we go. We're going to try it again. Caleb Nibble, Brock Anderson, Camden Harp, Raylan Morris, and Ray Ann Gibbs up here at the front. Green flag back out. And we're clean off a of turn two. And for the third restart in a row, Camden Harp able to make quick work. He'll go to second with one complete. Now Camden Harp looking for the lead down the back straightaway. The five down low. And new leader off a of turn number four. Camden Harp strong here early from third to first in that car number five. 
Knight will shuffle back to second. Raylan Morris hangs there with him in third. Rayanne Gibbs runs fourth up one spot on the grid. Braden Chavis in fifth. Now for second, Morris going to dive to the inside. Steals that spot away off of four. Shuffles full man Caleb Nibel back to third. Now it's Camden Harp up front. Raylan Morris trying to chase him down. Five laps complete this time around. Morris got a fast ride back there in second. He'll close it down. Less than two car leads now off of turn four. He's got help. Nibel to his back bumper. Nibel going to shove him right up here to the leader. Here comes Braden Chavis to make it a four-card battle up here at the front. Chavis has run him down all by himself in that car number 94. He may have the strongest card of them all. Here he comes down to the inside, looking for third in turn three. He'll take that away from Nibel. Ain't down in less than seven to go. Harm, Morris, Chavis, Nibel, and Gibbs, top five, now with nine complete. Leaders off a of turn two as Chavis going to close that gap down for second. Looking to the inside of Braylon Morris, not able to get there down the front. Morris knows he's got company. Morris holds that second spot now with the shove for the 94. He's going to have to run for the lead off a of turn four. To the back bumper for spot number one. Morris looking down low. He gets a nose there. He'll take the lead in turn three, and there's contact for second. Chavis able to shove his way through. Nibel able to follow through as well for third. Now Chavis to the inside for the lead in turn three. Braden Chavis puts it out front as we're down to less than two to go now. And building the lead as the battle is going to be for second. Chavis leads him off a of turn four. White flag. Last lap in junior one heavy. Braden Chavis through the slower traffic. He'll be able to get through cleanly off a of turn number four. He'll see the checkered flag. Braden Chavis is going to take the win. Good race from start to finish there. Once we got it going in junior one, Braden Chavis over Camden Hart, Raylan Morris, Caleb Nibel, and Ray Ant Gibbs, your top five finishers in junior one heavy. Stock Super Heavy should be in the grid. Your main event next out, followed by Stock Heavy and then Box Stock Wing. Just an early reminder here today, drivers and crews, when you're done with your last race today, you can turn your transponder back into us. If you would bring it up here to the left side of the concession stand, we'll take it to that side of the deck over here. We're set up right over here behind the flag stand.
Now on track, 27 cards for a 15-lapper for Stock Super Heavy. Starting out front, the Jay Carter logging 151 of Josh Carter. Going from second, part 29 of Donnie Dahl. Ryan Hefner in the seventh, going to roll from third. From fourth, it's going to be the 44 of Rob Sanders. And from fifth, part 25 of Cole Train Palmer. And not going to go this time. The rest of your top ten from sixth is going to be Brad Scruggs from seventh, Wendell Chavis, eighth, Tim O'Connor, ninth, Bryce Overton, and tenth, Colin Malugan. And we may be trying them again here. Field looks good up here at the front. Carter, Null, and Hebner are going to tow them off a of turn four. Green flag out and underway. Carter with the advantage. First time off a of turn two. Null peaks down to the inside. He plays nice into turn three. Carter still with the advantage off a of turn four. 27 cards when we get the first lap of the book to green. Now Null to the inside for the lead in turn three. He'll bring Hefner with him to second. And now we do have caution. Yellow flag is out. I'll let you folks know we have had a small issue with the computerized scoring, so we're having to do a system reboot. It's the reason for the stoppage on the racetrack here. Should be just another minute or two when we get back to racing. Stock Heavy, be getting ready for your main event. You're going to be next on the racetrack. Stock Heavy, main event coming up next.
Lead them off at turn two. Donnie Knoll, Ryan Hefner, and they'll change it for fourth down the back. Coltrane Walker down low, picking up a spot. <laughs> First end of that one, he'll lose four spots in the mix. As now we'll have a new leader off a of turn four, Ryan Hefner to the point. Second leader of the race, Ryan Hefner out front. Trying to scoot away, trying to leave the battle for second. Cold train Palmer looking strong here early from fifth to third and looking for more down the front. To the inside of Carter in turn one and two. He'll take it away off that second corner. Cold train Palmer on the move. Brad Scruggs into the top three with him. But the one to watch, that card number 25, as he's going to close the gap down for the lead. Just five laps complete. He drove for fifth to second, and now knocking on the back door for spot number one. Palmer dives to the inside, and we'll have a new leader in three. Scruggs dives his way down in there, takes that second spot away from Ryan Hefner. Cole Train Palmer fired off strong. We'll see if he can hold on to it here. Seven complete. Halfway this time around. Now Brad Scruggs, the one on the move, is he's going to close the gap down for the lead. He's going to be there. To the back bumper of Cole Train Palmer, knocking on the back door now for spot number one. Quick lap of the race, last top by Brad Scruggs, 10.7. Two, nine, as he'll peek to the inside once again for the top spot. Not able to take it, though. Feel going to see five to go. Palmer, Scruggs, Hefner, Sanders has worked his way back to fourth. Brad Scruggs continues to work the back buffer of that 25 as the left. They're clicking down. 12 complete. Less than three to go. Gives them a shot off into turn three. Palmer still holds on up here at the front. Less than two to go. Here comes Scruggs. Palmer going to slam the door into turn three. He chopped the nose of that 18. Now Scruggs to the inside cleanly. Takes it away in turn one. White flag in the air. Brad Scruggs looking to lead one lap in this race, the one that matters the most, and he'll do just that to the start-finish line. Brad Scruggs going to take the win in a scramble there at the finish over Coltrane Palmer, Ryan Hefner, Rob Sanders, and Ty Bennett, your top five for stock heavy. Stock Heavy lets me put him in the grid. Your main event is next. Stock Heavy. Box Stock Wing. Rookie, Red Plate, and Junior 3. Max Daddy Prelude. Next three classes. Begin ready.
the 90 seconds. We're rolling them for stock heavy. Stock Heavy going to go for a 15 lap main here. 24 cards strong. Starting out front, dropping the 705. Austin Yarbrough. From second, going to be Cole Fireball Johnson in card 33. From third, Bradley Carter, the 151. From fourth, Ethan Endicott, the 505. And Jacob Nibel in the 18 end, going to go for the fifth spot. Six through 10 on the grid. Thomas Underwood, Andrew Dove, Shane Chavis, Mikey Kaiser, and Chase. Williamson, here we go for 15 laps. Stock heavy, 24 cards strong. Off a of turn four. Yarbrough leading him down the green. He'll scoot away off a of turn two. Half a cart lane down front of Cole Johnson. Yarbrough leads the charge off a of turn four. One lap to bleed. Johnson with a big run off a of turn two to the back bumper for the lead. Runs him clean into turn three and four. Still Yarbrough. Johnson. Carter, right there in third. Johnson feels the pressure. He knows it's time to go. He'll dive to the inside. He'll get shoved up the hill by Carter. Bradley Carter down to the inside. Carter, the new leader in turn one. The youngster, Bradley Carter, third leader of the race here in stock heavy. Now Johnson second, Endicott third. Jacob Nibel up a spot to fourth. Thomas Underwood to fifth. Thomas Underwood been showing some speed here today. Under pressure now for the four of Andrew Dove. And now here comes Novel for third. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bradley Carter looking to drive away from the field. Sideways off a of turn four for the leader. He saw him shaking his head down the front. Frustrated with that move there. Only cost him a couple part lengths. Ethan Endicott now about three, four lengths back for the top spot. That'll scramble from third on back. Three wide off a of turn two there for about the eighth spot. And they're still fanned out down the back of the three. Out front, the gap stays the same. About three part lengths for Bradley Carter over Ethan Endicott. They've charged away from the rest of the field with less than five to go now. 
give a call to Chase Williamson. He started back in the 10th spot. He's driven his way up to third. That car number 40. Gump with a big move off that turn one. He'll take that fourth spot away. Smooth sailing out front for Bradley Carter through 12 laps. Going to be coming toward two to go this time off turn four. Check that shoulder. See, he's got a good lead with less than two to settle it. The J. Carter logging back 151 off a of turn four. Bradley Carter to the white flag. Last lap here in your stock heavy main event. Bradley Carter going to lead it off a of turn four. Takes it down to the start finish line and he'll be your stock heavy winner. Ethan Endicott, Chase Williamson, Andrew Dove. And Bryson Murray going to be your top five for stock heavy. We got Raylan Moore starting from the top spot here. The box stock wing main event out of his flat cart. Into the wing cart starts from the inside of row one, going from second. Going to be the 29, Liam Kane. From third, cart 44, Zoe Smith. From fourth, 0 3 of Drake Edwards. 28 of Gabe Yakimo. Going to go from fifth, and Bryson Reinhardt for the back. In the four five two, gonna roll from sixth. 
And this will be a 20-lap main event. We need rookie red plate getting ready for your 12-lap main. Rookie, next out. Mike Man says they're good. Green is out. Raylan Morris leads them off a of turn two. 44 of Zoe Smith runs second off that second quarter. First time down the back with Gabe Yakimo third. One lap complete. Yakimo trying to find his way around for second. Has not been able to do it yet. As Raylan Morris still leads the way in that car 89. Now Yakimo down low gets the wheel down there in turn one. And there may have been just a bit of contact there. Is Yakimo going to take that second spot away? From fifth to second early on for that car 28. Now back under pressure at turn one as they'll swap that spot. And that's good news for Morris. Raylan Morris now by 15 leads off of turn four. We're four complete. That's about a long track still for that second spot. Gabe, Yakimo, and Zoe Smith as they have tossed it back and forth these last few laps. That's just letting Raylan Morris get away more and more in that car number 89. Nine laps complete this time around. Next time, Bob, we'll be seeing halfway. So far, so good. Green and green in this one. Your box block wing main coming to halfway this time. Let's on forward. Now some contact for that second spot. Yakimo got up to the inside and to the side of the 44 of Zoe Smith. Smith trying to run it back down now for that second spot. That's the battle up off of turn four for the second spot. Raylan Morris by three quarters of a straightaway as the laps are ticking down. Going to be five to go this time off of turn four. Raylan Morris started out front. He's led all of them. Got one slow cart. And then a lot of clear racetrack ahead. As long as he can make good quick work of the slow traffic. And it looks like he's going to be able to do so. Looking down low takes that away. Now smooth sailing ahead for the 89. Raylan Boris going to be coming down to two to go. White flag this time around. Last lap for the box stock. Wing main. Raylan Morris down the back for the final time. A car number 89. Going to lead all 20 laps in this one. Morris off a of turn four. Taking the checkered flag. He'll be your box stock wing winner. Gabe Yakimo going to win that battle for second. With Zoe Smith bringing the 44 home in third. Drake Edwards, 0-3 for fourth. Bryson Reinhardt was fifth in the 452. And Liam Kane scored six, then card 29.
Rookie, let's be making your way down to the grid for your main event. It's next on track. Followed by Junior 3, Max Daddy Prelude, and Junior 1, Max Daddy Prelude. Be getting ready. Yeah, Our rookie Red Plater should be here for your race. 12 lapper coming up next. Rookie Red Plate to the grid. And again, if you have finished up for your race in here for the day, we'll take transponders back up here where we're set up at scoring. At the back side of the concession stand, if you would please come to the left side when you bring those transponders back up here, we do appreciate it.
Green flag out and we're underway for the red platers at their side by side for the lead right off the bat. Down the back straight away. Cam Crawford diving down low for the lead off a of turn four. Crawford to the point from second on the grid. He'll lead lap number one. Crawford out front. Wyatt Proctor there in second. Here comes the 24, Grayson Lofton. Lofton looking down low. Three cards bumper to bumper off a of turn four. They'll split the lap traffic, and Crawford still with the lead, and here comes the battle for second. And now for the lead, the 24 going to use all the racetrack off into turn number one. They make hard contact, and the 24, Grayson Lofton, going to go to the point. Crawford going to cross him up down the back. Back down to the inside. They'll bang wheels again off turn four. Crawford back to the point with four complete. Four complete. Crawford drops it down to the bottom. That's going to bring him right back to him. Slow traffic ahead off a of turn four. Again, they will split the lap traffic. That's the second time we've seen that 97 do it on the outside. Don't look now. Sawyer Chavis has worked his way into the top three. Having a quiet, solid race there in that car number 86. Now finds himself as a contender up here at the front. Here comes the 24 all the way down low. There's contact that we've got trouble in turn three. We've got three carts involved. Chavis way off the racetrack down here. The 97 of Wyatt Proctor going to get a piece of it as well. They'll stack them up hard down here in three and four. Caution out with six complete. Good to see Sawyer Chavis able to rejoin the field after that wild ride off of turn three. Everybody getting back on the racetrack. We'll get them lined back up. And the way they ran was six complete. We'll go back racing with six to go. Junior three, Max Daddy Prelude. Your next out should be making your way in the grid. Junior three, Max Daddy Prelude. That'll be a 20 lapper. Again, six laps complete, six laps to settle it here, and green flag is out off a of turn four, back underway. Crawford to the inside, able to steal the lead away into turn one and two. Crawford out front, Grayson Lofton there in second, giving him chase off a of turn four. Sawyer Chambers back up to third after his trouble just a moment ago. As they'll make contact again for the lead, the 24 down to the inside. Crawford going to slam the door this time into turn three. Eight down, four to go. How wide can Cam Crawford make it up here at the front? He'll take him all the way to the bottom of the racetrack again. Lofton not able to find his way through. That's going to bring the 86 back up here closer to your top two. Nine laps complete, just three to go now. 
Grayson Lofton trying to get a good run up on your leader. It hasn't happened yet. He's catching him in all the wrong spots. Looks to the inside, gives him pressure, not able to budge him. It's still Crawford leading the way. Here comes Lofton, though. Dives it all the way to the inside of the racetrack, to the infield in turn three. He'll take the point. But Crawford right back to the inside, crosses him up. White flag. Lofton going to miss the corner, and Crawford now well out front in car number one. Down through turn three and four. Cam Crawford down to the start finish line, going to take it. Great race with your leaders going back and forth there. And it looks like the 24 might not be happy with your winner there. Giving them a couple shots after the checkered flag. Cam Crawford, Grayson Lofton, Sawyer Chavis, Diesel Hobbs, Wyatt Proctor, and Sutton Denham. The way we'll finish them up here for the Red Platers. The Junior 3 Max Daddy Prelude getting ready to go green for 20 laps. Logan Walston, cart 56, pole man in this one. Bringing the field off a of turn four. We're green, we're underway. Walston, Brayson Riddle, and Riker Ridley off a of turn two. Walston up the hill to the inside comes Brayson Riddle. New leader on lap number one. They'll keep him pointed straight off a of turn four. One lap complete. 
Brayson Riddle Rockets to the front from the second spot. Now pulling away. Six, eight, cart lanes over the second place tussle. Jen Carly Bennett, cart number 10. Bennett with some good moves here early. Started fourth. She's worked her way to second. Cooper Kent third. Logan Walston, Riker Ridley. Make up your top five with three complete. Now for second, Cooper Kent to the back bumper of Carly Bennett. Dives to the inside in turn three. Takes it away off of four. Bennett now under pressure from Walston. And your leader, Brayson Riddle, still getting away here early with just five complete. One second out front for Brayson Riddle. They'll go side by side again for second. Bennett takes that second spot and back away. Not content to ride back there in third. Neither is the 28 of Cooper Kidd as they'll cross her up in turn one. Costing that whole pack huge time to your leader. Bad news for the rest of the field. Brayson Riddle, quick lap of the race. Last time by at a 10.892 as he continues to open that gap. Now 1.7 second advantage for your leader. Nine complete this time by. They've been all green so far. And halfway this time by. Ten down, ten to go. And some car contact here at the back down the front straightaway. And we got one stop to the top of turn one. Clay Bellamy going to be out of it in car 22. Leader off into turn one with a 2.4 second advantage and still getting faster. Lap after lap, 10.800 for your leader. Last time by. Picks it up, 10, 7, 6, 3. Now the quick lap of the race as the leader three wide with slower traffic in turn three. He'll make a lane, and now with clear racetrack ahead, six laps to go. Your second and third place carts now through the slower traffic at three and four. Leader, Brayson Riddle, picking them up and putting them down. Now with clear racetrack ahead and less than four to go. Making a statement here in the prelude class, giving them something to think about for that big race coming up. He will definitely be a contender. Got that 96 on a rail here in the prelude. 18 laps complete and with less than two to go. Riddle down through turn three and four. White flag is stopped by. And Grayson Riddle from second on the grid. Lead him off a of turn four. Checkered flag is out. Junior three. Prelude as he'll coast it across the start finish. And convincing style. Grayson Riddle going to take the checkered flag in the junior three. Max Daddy Prelude. Riker Ridley going to come home in second. Cooper Kidd, Jane and Cordell, and Holden Myers will be your top five finishers. Need the 89 of Raylan Morris and the 94 of Braden Chavis to the grid. Only two are missing here for Junior One. 89 of Morris, 94 of Chavis. Overdue to the grid.
Raylan Morris, last call to the grid. 89 of Raylan Morris for your main event, Raylan Morris. Starting from the top spot here for the Junior One Max Daddy Prelude, driving the 18 in out of Maryville, Tennessee. Caleb Nibel going from second. Raylan Morris in the 89 from third. Braden Chavis in the 94. Camden Hart from fourth. Ray Ann Gibbs from fifth. 20 laps going to be the distance for this one. Jerry Strickland says it's good. Green Rag is out. Underway. Nibel with the advantage. First time down the back. Pulls away. Current length. Current length and a half. As they're side by side for a second. It's Chavis picking up a spot off a of turn four. Now Harp down to the inside. Camden Harp going to get the two for one. And we're cautioned. Yellow flag is out. Well, we got one spun here off a of turn four. So no laps complete. It was that close. But no laps.
Field lined up for the restart here. No laps complete. Nibel, Morris, Chavez as we're back underway. Junior one prelude off a of turn two with Nibel out here at the front. And we will get them off a of turn four to the start finish. One lap complete here. Challenge for second. Braden Chavis knocking on the back bumper of that 89. Morris able to hang on to it that time. We've got trouble down in three and four. Almost. I don't know how they saved that one. That was the 31X Blade and Wheeler with the big save there going all the way to the back, though. On the racetrack, going to change it for second. Here comes Camden Harp. He goes from fourth to second in one set of corners. Camden Harp on the move now. Got just one more cart to go. It's still Caleb Nibel leading it. Quick lap of the race for Camden Harp. Up to second and closing the gap down with help from Chavis. Here they come. Camden Harp, 11 3 4 8 for the new quick lap of the race. Last time by as he is there to the back bumper. Lets him know down in turn three and four. Moves him up the hill. Got him sideways off of turn four. Nibel still holds the top spot. Here comes Raylan Morris to make it a four cart battle here at the front. And now Harp dives down to the inside. We'll have a new leader off of turn four. Braden Chavis diving down low for second. Able to take it away from Nibel. Now going to set his sights off for the lead. Camden Harp strong up here at the front. But Chavis trying to close that gap down. Braden Chavis, 11-3-2-7. Now the new quick lap of the race. And so close it down even more for the top spot. Better on the watch by 9,000th that last time by. Then your leader was Chavis. Now with help from Nibel, they're going to roll right up to the bumper. They're going to be their top three again, bumper to bumper, and caution. Spinner, top of turn two, going to slow us here. It was getting good up there at the front with nine complete. We will go caution. Single card incident here off of turn two. They should be able to get that one to rejoin tail of the field here. And we'll go back green just one lap short of halfway.
16 laps complete now in the Junior 1 Prelude. Brandon Chavis and Camden Harf set to battle it out, coming towards three to go. This time I'll turn four. Camden Harp is glued to the back bumper. When will he make the move? Chavis with a bobble off a of turn two. Here comes Harp down low. That's the run he needed. Harp to go to the point off a of turn four. Two to go now. Can Chavis mount a charge back to him? He's a cart length. Cart length and a half back. Hart pins it to the bottom. Chavis going to get the run. He's going to be there down the front straightaway. One more lap to go. Will Chavis use the bumper here in the final set of corners? He's there off a of turn two. Drives it in hard. Not going to be able to get to him. Camden Hart going to take the win in car number five. Braden Chavis second. Caleb Nibel, Raylan Morris, and Ray Ann Gibbs finish up your top five finishers in junior one prelude. Junior two, Max Daddy Prelude should be in the grid next on the racetrack. All my super heavy prelude and the Max Daddy Prelude be getting ready.
Looking to go green here for the Junior 2 Max Eddie Prelude. For our first attempt, Bryson Smith from the pole. Lead them off a of two. Contact for a second. They're up the hill. They're off the racetrack, off a of turn two, but they'll keep them straight. Now a three wide dive off into turn three. Somehow, someway, they keep them straight. We get our first lap complete. And for the lead off a of turn two, Lawson Bryant to the inside. Second leader of the race, Lawson Bryant to the point now with two complete. Here comes the 94, Hudson Barrett, looking to be leader number three as he'll take it away off a of turn two. Three laps and three leaders so far. Hudson Barrett now out front of the 94, feeling the pressure. Here comes Bryant, back down to the inside. He'll go back to the point in turn three. Cowboy Carter's worked his way up to third, trying to make ground up on your leaders. Now side by side for fourth. The 12 of Mason Glover up a spot. Kyler Keith also into the top five here. Leaders bumper to bumper as they roll up towards the back end of slower traffic here. Lawson Bryant and Hudson Barrett of the pair of 94s up here leading the charge off a of turn four. Seven laps complete. Now an end of slower traffic. Your leaders off a of turn four. Lawson Bryant still leading it. Hudson Barrett still trying to take it away. And Cowboy Carter still trying to track him down all by himself in that 151. That's a hard task with no drafting partner. He's hanging tough, though, about 10 cart lanes back. He'll watch him go side by side. Again, for the lead in turn three and four. This time it's Barrett to the point as they'll see halfway. Ten laps complete, five lead changes in this one. It's Hudson Barrett in the white 94. Lawson Bryant in the red 94 giving chase. Now the battle's heating up for third. Here comes the two of Bryson Smith on the charge here late. Dives to the inside, makes quick work of Carter. 13 complete. He may just have time to get there. He ran the quick lap of the race in traffic last time by. Watch that cart number two. Here he comes, folks. Bryant to the lead and the two dive to the inside for second. Bryant Smith going to take it away. Bryson Smith the second. Now just two cart leads back for the lead. He was about a straightaway back about four laps ago. And now they're looking for the top spot off a of turn two. Peaks to the inside and we'll have a new leader, fourth leader of the race. Bryson Smith to the point. 16 complete and less than four to go. And now Smith trying to stretch it out here late. Bryson Smith by three cart lengths now in that cart number two. As he'll wheel it up off a of turn four to the two to go signal. White flag in the air this time around. One more lap for the Junior 2 Prelude. The battle's going to be for second. It's going to be all Bryson Smith down through turn three and four. He'll see the checkered flag. Bryson Smith's going to be your winner. It's Lawson Bryant for second in a hard-fought race there with Hudson Barrett. Barrett going to come home in third. Grayson Underwood with a solid top five run there. Brings it home in fourth and Cowboy Carter. Now yeah, shuffled a couple there late, and he'll bring it home in fifth.
Studies show that even the best current generation of simulators only convince 50% of the human brain that they are real. Here at SimCraft, that just isn't realistic enough. Developed to offer the most realistic karting sim experience in the world, all testing has shown that the physics engine used in SimCraft's Grid 1 model convinces 90% of the human brain that you are actually on track. Now that is the real deal. So you finally want to get behind the wheel, huh? Yeah, I've been shooting for three years and I've never got to drive. Well, you're going to need some more gear than just your helmet. Why don't you go to shopakr.com? They got their inventory online and they'll ship it the same day if you order before 5.30 p.m. Eastern. They got shoes? Yep. Gloves? Yep. Rip protectors? Got those too. Can they make me go fast? No. Here at Acceleration Kart Racing, we've got everything you need to get on track. What happens next? Well, that's on you. Check us out online at shopakr.com. Twenty-eight carts for a twenty lapper here for Stock Super Heavy. Max Daddy Prelude be getting ready. You are next. Max Daddy Prelude. Green flag in the air, underway. Tim O'Connor leads them off a of turn two. First time down the back straightaway. Top three jump away. O'Connor, Nall, and Mitch Hendricks looking down low for second. He'll take it away with one complete. Donnie Nall still losing spots on the outside in that car 29. He's back three spots now. O'Connor still leads the way. Mitch Hendricks, though, closing that gap down to the 505. Looking for the lead here off of turn four. O'Connor wide now. Hendricks there to the bumper. Ty Bennett third. Wendell Chavis to fourth. Running up down. We're about to have a four-card freight train up here at the front. Bennett and Chavis are there. Four carts nose to tail as they exit turn four now with five complete. Chavis to the inside. He'll take the third spot down the front straightaway and set his sights on your leaders. Wendell Chavis in the 94 on the move next in his side. It's going to be Mitch Hendricks. That's going to be for second. Chavis already there, putting the pressure off a of two.
Austin Wyatt started back in the ninth spot. He worked his way up to fifth. Just a little bit of racing up there at the front. Wyatt's going to be able to sniff that draft. Here he comes to that 75. Don't count him out, folks. Austin Wyatt now can sniff the draft of the 122 of Todd Bennett. And that's going to pull him right up here to your leaders here. Just a couple laps from now. They'll go side by side for a second. Chaffin's going to take that spot away from Hendricks. Austin Wyatt is running them down there. Up into the fifth spot and looking for more of that card 75. Past the halfway point now, 11 make it 12 complete when they get here this time around. It's been all Tim O'Connor since we dropped the green flag. Spinner, top of turn one. We got a card around. Track stays clear, will stay green. Leader down the back into turn three and four with about a five part lead advantage. Tim O'Connor over Wendell Chavis. With 14 down, it's six to go. More slow traffic ahead for your leaders. O'Connor going to lose two part lanes that time. Chavis closing that gap down with help now from Ty Bennett. Wyatt now up to fourth. Austin Wyatt with help from Mitch Hendricks. Can he run him down here late? We're coming up on three to go this time off a of turn four. Three laps to settle it. Tim O'Connor still holding a pretty wheel up here at the front. Leads him off a of turn four. Now with two to go. If they've got anything for him, they've got to go now. Wyatt's faded back here to fifth. It's O'Connor leading him down to the white. The last lap around, and he's going to go uncontested here on the final lap. Tim O'Connor off a of turn four. Going to see the checker. He'll be your winner in Super Heavy Prelude. Second, going to go to Chavis. Third to the 122 of Bennett. Mitch Hendricks was fourth. Austin Wyatt across for a fifth place finish with the rest of your top ten. A.J. Pace, Donnie Nall, Ryan Hebner, Josh Carter, and Joseph Beasley.
Launch right now. The Max Daddy for 24 cars had to go for 20 spots. 20 laps. Starting out front, driving car number 40 out of Lakeston, South Carolina. The PNP Speed Shot Back Machine of Chase Williamson going from second. Out of Conway, South Carolina. Fireball, Cole Johnson. Jacob Nibel, Austin Banker, and Josh Darnell off of turn fours. We're bringing them down the green. Field off a of turn two cleanly. First time down the back. Off a of turn number four. Williamson going to lead up for lap number one. Banker to third. And we got two cars up the hill off a of turn two. That's Darnell losing spots down the back into three. Darnell as well as the 92 of Steven Adams both shuffled well to the back of the field now. Out front, Chase Williamson is driving away from the battle for second on back. Right now, Banker has that spot. Here comes Carter for third. Bradley Carter, already a winner here today in stock heavy competition, has worked his way up to third. Next in his side is going to be Austin Banker for second. Chase Williamson still driving away in that car 40 through six laps now. Williamson, Banker, Carter, Endicott, and Nibel in your top five. Coming to seven complete this time around. Coming up on seven to go this time by Chase Williamson. Still fastest lap to the race. 10 3 7 0 that last time by. Now 1.3 seconds out front for part number 40. Started up front and has gone uncontested in this one. Giving them something to think about here at this prelude race. Chase Williamson has put it to the field from the drop of the green. Still picking up those quick laps of the race down 10.355 for your leader. Working on a second and a half gap now for cart number 40 with 17 complete. We're going to see the white flag this time off a of turn for one more lap around. The Mac Daddy Freelou going to go to the driver out of Lake City, South Carolina. Chase Williamson driving car number 40, going to score the win in convincing batch in there. For second place, Bradley Carter. Third, Ethan Endicott. Fourth, we'll go to the 07 of Banker. And fifth, to the 801 of Thomas Underwood, picking up another top five run here today in that 801. And drivers and crews, if you are done with your racing here for the day, you would bring your transponders back up here to where we're set up at scoring, please. You bring them up to the left side of the back of the concession stand where we're picking those up. We're going to be about five minutes before our next main event on the racetrack. Give you guys just a quick break before we get underway with these Max Daddy mains. Junior 1 Max Daddy, you'll be first out. Let's have them ready and start making your way down towards the grid. Junior 1 Max Daddy. 
coming up on a 40 lap main event for the junior ones. We will have a competition caution in that one. We hit halfway in lap 20. Junior one max daddy be getting ready. Be making your way down.
One Max Daddy, last call down here to the grid. We're getting ready to fire him up for your 40 laps main event. Junior One Max Daddy. All these Max Teddy classes post race for a front stretch interview with our winner. So, winning group members, you can come out here and get in the picture if you so wish. I'd like to get all the happy crew out here with your driver at the completion of these races. And last call down here to the grid for Junior One for your Max Teddy for 2024.
We got five classes left to go here this evening as our settle our five Max Daddy classes here tonight. Got Junior One Max Daddy getting ready to roll on the racetrack again for their 40 lap main. Junior Two Max Daddy will follow. Let's be getting ready. racetrack here down to do battle for their 40 lap main event the junior one max daddy Here we go. 18 cars for a 40 lap main event for the Junior One drivers, starting from the top spot out of Hepsibah, Georgia, in the No Worries Motorsports Max car number 94. Braden Chavis going from second, mid strong here all day, driving car number five, Camden Harp. From third, Raylan Morris in car 89. From fourth, Caleb Nibel in the 18 in, and from fifth on the grid, Bladen Wheeler in the 31X. Six through 10, Hayden Duncan. Ray Ann Gibbs, Wyndon Shaw, Grayson Ridley, and Ellie Jewell. First of two 20 lap segments getting ready to go green here for the Junior One Max Daddy. Field rolls through three off turn number four. Flagman says that's good. And for the first time in the junior one back, Daddy, we're green. Braden Chavis toes the field first time down the back. They'll change it for second. Off into turn three. Raylan Morris picking up a spot here early with one complete. Morris to second. Big trouble front straight away. Hard contact. Three, four cars involved. One of them gets slung way up in the air down here in turn one. A major incident down here in turn one puts us caution.
And now we're going to bring the field to a stop, check on the condition of these young drivers down here, make sure everybody's okay. See most of them already up and out of their carts. A couple of them trying to get them fired back up, get back in here. Our second attempt here, still no laps. As Chapin's is going to bring them back to green. Lead them off a of turn two. Camden Hart, Braylon Morris, Caleb Nival, Blade and Wheeler, your top five. Now Wheeler giving up some spots in three. 52 of Hayden Duncan up into the top five here early with one lap complete. Chief is feeling the pressure off a of turn four. Now here comes Morris to the inside for a second with help. 
Morris to second. Caleb Nival with a quick lap of the race early. He rolls up to third. And caution, yellow flag on the speedway. We got trouble here off of turn four. Getting back underway here with just one lap complete. Still pole man Braden Chavis in the front of the field. And we've got caution on the speedway once again. Still just one lap complete. Back underway, just one lap complete. Chavis, Harp, Morris, Nabo in trouble there for fifth. We've got one spun all close there. 
couple of them hard into the fence here off a of turn four. That one could have been a whole lot worse, though, as we have one broadside right there in the groove in turn three. And right back to the caution we go here. Still just one complete. It was just one lap complete here, trying to get some laps in this. And not going to go this time. <laughs> Folks, we're one lap and almost 13 minutes into this one.
Clock was stopped with that last red flag. We have not restarted the clock yet. We're at 12 minutes and 49 seconds. Just one lap complete here. Just to let you folks know, we are on 20-minute time limits per segment here. So in segment number one, we're 12 minutes and 49 seconds of 20 minutes with one of 20 complete in the first of two segments. So again, hopefully we'll be able to click off some laps here in Junior 1. Get this thing underway. I'd like to get all the laps in for these guys, these crews, these parents that have done so much to get them here. And looks like it's going to be another lap or so before we get back on. We've got one trying to find his way in line here. And field coming back to green off a of turn four. Chavis and Harp up here at the front. Trouble in turn one. We got one turned around. Up and almost over. And well off the racetrack over here off a of turn two as three carts were involved in that. And we go right back caution. We're still just one lap and now 13 minutes into this first segment. 
And we'll try them one more time. Green flag back out. Challenge for fourth there off the second corner. Caleb Nibble to fourth, Bladen Wheeler to fifth, still Braden Chavis leading it in cart 94. Three laps complete this time around. Trouble off the top of turn three. One cart well clear of the speedway. We'll stay green and now new leader off into turn three. Camden Harp and Braden Chavis going to fade back to fourth. Harp, your new leader. Four laps, make it five complete. Camden Harp over Raylan Morris. Morris with help from Caleb Nibel running up to the back bumper of your leader. Make it six complete this time around. More trouble down here in turn two. We've got two carts involved here in the second corner. And caution. Yellow flag. Six laps complete now. We're going back green to the junior one max daddy. Camden Hart leading the back with Raylan Morris in tow. They'll lead the field off a of turn two down the back. Caleb Nibel rolls up to third, putting pressure for the lead to the inside of Morris for second. Nibel looking strong here on the restart. Takes that second spot away in turn one. Jacob Knight will charge into the back bumper for the lead down to the inside on Camden Horn. Takes it away in turn three. Caleb Nibel to the front with nine laps complete. Harp second. Morris. Chavis. 
And that's Ellie Jewell up in the fifth now, cart number two. And she'll watch him change it for third. Braden Chavis up a spot there, cart 94, working his way back to the front here. Make it 12 complete this time around. Camden Harp shoving the leader. Caleb Nibel down the back through three and four. Braden Chavis now cleared himself for third. Setting his sights on your leaders here. Again, we will have a competition caution at lap 20. We're 14 complete. Six to go here in stage number one. And the 94 is charged, and it's about to be a three-card battle to see who's going to lead it here at lap 20 when we see that competition caution. Braden Chavis, quick lap of the race. Last time around, 11.435 as they close the gap down for the lead. Caleb Nibel now by Kurt Leith as the battle is going to be for second. 17 complete. Coming to two to go in segment one this time around. And those top three look to have the field covered here in segment number one. Nibel, Camden Harp, and Braden Chavis. Long ways out front of fourth place, Raylan Morris. But this caution could change things. We're about to see our competition caution. Going to be 20 complete this time around. We'll let the leader cycle through and then caution will display. And there it is. Caution is out right here at the halfway. Junior 2 Max Daddy. Need to be getting your carts ready next on the racetrack. Junior 2 Max Daddy. Back to green, making 21 laps complete this time around. Top two have jumped out to a big lead here. Caleb Nibo and Camden Hart. Blade and Wheeler at 31X up into the third spot now. Braden Chavis back to fourth. Long ways up to your leaders, though. 20, Cart leads the gap for the top two as there's contact off turn four. Camden Harp had it crossed up that time off the fourth corner. But it's still Caleb Nibel with the advantage as they'll change it for third. Wheel to wheel for that spot. Chavis to the inside. Wheeler up the hill. He's going to lose more spots down the front. Back three, back four spots now. L.A. Jewell fighting for a spot down to the inside in her cart number two. They're still wheel to wheel off turn four. Meanwhile, leaders off into three and four. Nibel, 11, 3, 36. Quick lap of the race. Last time around now with 26 complete in the Jigger One Max Daddy. Caleb Nibel up in the seat off a of turn four that last time, trying to get everything he could out of that cart. 
He's opening that gap now, about six, seven. Current lead advantage for your leader. Caleb Nibel out of Maryville, Tennessee, looking to pick up the junior one max daddy win here this weekend at Talladega. Leading it by five cart leads now as we're 29 complete. Going to be 10 to go when they get back here to the stripe. 30 down, 10 to go this time around. It's still good pace for your leader. The gap stays about the same, about five cart lengths. Just at one half second from Nibel back to Camden Hart. And they start to work the slower traffic off of turn four. Now make it 32 down, eight to go here. And now about the biggest lead we've seen all race long, six tenths of a second for your leader, Caleb Nibel. Slow traffic ahead for Nibel off of turn two. That gets him crossed up. Here comes Camden Harp. Harp going to get right back to him down here in three and four. We've got a race once again here in junior one. Harp to within two cart leads for the lead. 34 laps complete. Stays with him. We've got one stop. Run straight away. Got a cart dead in the water right down here at the bottom of turn one. Caution. And that's going to set us up for some kind of finish here. Caution out with 34 laps complete. And we'll be going back green with six laps to settle the Junior 1 Max Daddy. Caleb Nibel, Camden Hart, Braden Chavis, Wyndon Shaw, and Raylan Morris is going to be your top five when we go back green flag racing here. Back to the green flag with six laps to settle it. Caleb Nibo and Camden Harp trying to pull away here. Late Brayton Chavis there in third. Wyndon Shaw looking to be a player here late. Runs in fourth in the 505. As we're clicking the laps down, 36 complete. Four to go this time by. Camden Harp is there. When's he going to make the move? It hasn't happened yet. He's going to have to go soon because here comes that 94. Braden Chavis to the back bumper for a second now. Camden Harp slips back on current length. Here comes the 94 down low. He'll make a clean pass into turn three. Chavis to second. Harp back to the inside on turn four. That's going to open it up for leader. Caleb Nibel. Now side by side. Three wide for the third spot. Caleb Nibel down to the white flag. One more lap to go. Out of Maryville, Tennessee, driving the 18 in, started in the fourth spot, going to bring it off a of turn four to the checkered flag. Caleb Nibel going to be your junior one Max Daddy winner. Second goes to the five of Camden Harp, third to the 89 of Raylan Morris, fourth to the 505 of Wyndon Shaw, and for fifth was the 94 of Braden Chavis. Get the Caleb Nibel pit crew out here to the front stretch, please.
We're down here on the front stretch at the Talladega Raceway Park with our first Max Daddy winner of the day, taking it in Junior 1. Caleb Noble coming to us out of Maryville, Tennessee, taking the big checkered flag here this weekend, get the safety equipment off. And Caleb, we'll grab a quick interview here for the folks at home up here on the camera. Man, you started back in the fourth spot. It was a tough early start to the race for the whole field there. We really had trouble getting that one going. But once we started clicking those laps in, man, you put y'all put on a great race up there at the front. You and uh you and Cam did really seem to be the the class of the field. Y'all were y'all were doing a lot of battling there, but you're able to bring this 18 home in victory lane there. Gotta feel pretty awesome to come down here this weekend to Talladega, pick up this big win. Yeah, it is. Um that was a good race. That's all I gotta say. Well, I know you got some good man. Man, look at look at this crew out here. You got a lot of happy people out here. You want to thank some of these folks for helping you be here fast here this weekend, pick up this win. My mom, my dad, my brother, uh, Premier, Todd Miller, um, Smoky Mountain, my uncle. That's it. All right, there you go. Caleb Nibel out of Berryville, Tennessee. This boy's been fast here all weekend long. Gonna pick up the big win in the junior one max daddy. We'll get up some pictures with you and your pit crew down here we got you checking your trophy waiting down here towards victory lane congratulations caleb
getting ready to get underway with our 50 lap junior two max daddy main event starting from the top spot driving card number two bryson smith going from second driving card 15 foster smithy from third aubrey ice in the 88 john hensley from fourth in card nine hudson barrett 94b gonna go from fifth with six through ten cowboy carter grayson underwood lawson bryant cruz fudge and kyler key gonna be two 25 lap segments for this one Looking to go green for the first time here in segment number one. Bryson Smith going to lead the charge down towards green. And going to be, looks like, one more lap before we go green here. Underway in junior two and already three wide for the lead down the back stretch. Here comes John Hensley looking down low into turn three. Hensley from third to first off of turn four. We'll keep him straight to the stripe. One lap complete. No, we got a spin here in turn four. We got one spun right here at the start finish line. I thought we got that first lap in clean. And what a wild first lap it was up here at the front. But I believe we're going to go back to no laps there. That car had fun before the start finish line. You got to get everybody past the start finish line clean for that first lap to count. Uh, we were just within about a foot short there. We'll go back to the original lineup, try it again here. No laps. I'm being told we got them stopped here doing some kind of a safety check. Maybe on the helmets here. Not quite sure what's going on, but we've got our tech officials out here. Checking out the safety equipment on these young drivers. So we should be getting back to green here pretty shortly. Might be the first time I've seen this one.
All right, what it was there is they were checking the drivers that elect to wear these straps. We need to make sure that those straps are attached to a D-ring on the helmet and not tied through the front. That was the reason for the stoppage there for our tech officials coming out here, making sure everybody's safe. So we'll get the cart started back up here. Again, still no laps in your junior two main. We'll get them lined back up here for a restart.
All right, here we go. Looking for the restart. Bryson Smith. Foster Smithies, Aubrey Ice, lead them back off into turn one and two as we're back underway. And for second, Ice to the inside of the 88. He'll look for the lead off into turn three from third to first. Aubrey Ice off a of turn four. What a move for the 88 on lap number one. And now we're going to go caution. Oh, we got a mess here off turn four. Caution's out. No laps.
Still no laps of this one in just past six minutes officially on the clock because we're back green flag. Foster Smith, he's under pressure down the back. Aubrey Ice down low for second. We saw him make that big move on the first attempt to go to the lead. Now again to the top spot in turn number one. He'll go from third to first on lap one for the second time in a row this time. Lap one complete. Aubrey Ice officially your leader off a of turn four now with two complete. Ice out front, John Hintley to second. Cowboy Carter to third in the 151. Here comes John Hensley looking to the back bumper of Aubrey Ice for the lead. A pair of Alabama drivers out front trying to fend off the rest of the field. Here comes Cowboy Carter to third. Out of South Carolina putting the pressure to the back bumper of the nine. Dive it to the inside with help to turn one. A lot of contact there around spots two, three, and four that time. Here comes Lawson Bryant down low making work of that card number two. Lane Woods picking up a spot in the 192. Going to get crossed up down the back. Leader, Aubrey Ice stretching that gap now. The battle is going to be for second. Carter to that second spot. How about Cruz Futch up to third? Cruz Futch. In the 12, started back in the ninth spot, and he has worked his way to third. Aubrey Ice, 88, leading it with 10 complete. Again, this is a 50 lap, or we'll have two 25 lap segments. Here comes Lawson Bryant picking up another one. That's a fast card number 94 there. With good help from Bryson Smith there to third and fourth. Now Brian off the top of the racetrack off a of turn two. Smith going to pick that spot back up, back up to third. Can anybody track down this 88? He has looked strong here in segment one. Battle's going to be for second. Smith down to the inside, takes it away in turn one. With the quick lap of the race, 11, 2, 3, 0. Last time for Bryson Smith. As he drives his way back up to second, now going to set his sights on leader, Aubrey Ice. The gap's starting to close now. Five lanes make it four lanes off of turn four. Trouble front straight away. We've got one nosed up into the fence here. Caution. Yellow for the 44 of Brian Sheffield. Finds himself facing the wrong way front straight away here. With 15 laps complete.
Back to green with 15 laps complete. Change going to be for second. Cowboy Carter down low going to pick one up with help. Carter to second. Foster Smith, he's going to get shuffled out now. Bryson Smith back up to third. And Carter knocking on the back door for the lead. Through three and off turn number four. Aubrey Ice still up front. Cowboy Carter wants it. Working the back bumper down the back straightaway. The 88 going to lock it down to the bottom. It's going to be 18 complete this time around. Got a car spun up into the fence here. I'll turn four. That one's not going to be able to roll. We go caution here once again. Caution. Seventeen complete contact for the lead back straightaway. Bryson Smith uses the bumper up a turn two. Now they're rooting and gouging for second on back. Smith pulling away off turn four as a fan out three, four wide down the front straightaway for a moment. Back there for about fifth spot. Bryson Smith has jumped out to a big lead. Lawson Bryant to second. How about Lane Woods to third of the one ninety two? After about a year off a go-kart racing, back in the seat here this weekend. And we got trouble in turn two. We got one, two carts around off the second corner. And caution. 20 laps complete.
And we got one cutoff back straight away, so going to be at least another lap before we go green here. We do have 20 laps complete, so we're five laps short of the competition caution. Just past 18 minutes on the watch here. Twenty-one laps complete this time around with Bryson Smith leading Lane Woods up to second. Lane Woods on the charge here in segment number one has worked his way to the second spot again. He hadn't raced a go-kart in about a year. Putting a great drive together here tonight. Here he comes. Oh, no, he's off the racetrack back straight away. And a wild ride for the 192. He's up and out of that car off the back straightaway. Driver is okay. The track stays clear. We'll stay green with 23. Make it 24 complete. Bryson Smith, Lawson Bryant. And Declan Willis has now worked his way to third as we are to the halfway point. 25 laps complete. And the caution, competition caution here at the halfway point. Halfway in the junior two, Max Daddy, 25 laps complete. Pole man Bryson Smith still leading the way. Lawson Bryant, Declan Willis, John Hensley. Kyler Keefe will be your top five when we go back green. Junior three, Max Daddy, be getting ready. Junior three, Max Daddy, be getting ready.
Back to it here in the Junior 2 Max Daddy. Bryson Smith lead the way off of turn four. Lawson Bryant looking down low for third. Gets to the left rear. Moves him up for a spot. We got him sideways and scattered off of turn four. Everybody fighting for spots there at the back of the field. Meanwhile, leaders getting away. Bryson Smith and now Declan Willis up to second. Graham, North Carolina's Bryson Smith leading the charge. Declan Willis out of South Boston, Virginia, starting to close that gap down. He's got it down to four lanes, down to three lanes, down in three and four. 30 laps complete this time by. We've got 20 to go. Lawson Bryant rides third. John Hensley fourth. Foster Smith, he's back up into the top five here. In the closing laps of this one, make it 32 complete this time around. Junior three, Max Daddy. Need to be making your way down to the grid area. Junior three, Max Daddy. Next on track. Junior three, Max Daddy to the grid. Bryson Smith holds about a six cart length advantage in cart number two. Now 35 laps complete. Over half a second back to the 100 of Declan Willis, who's second and now they're going to change it for third. Foster Smithy to the inside, picks one up in three. Smithy's in the 15 into the top three, put Lawson Bryant back to fourth. 21C of Colin Stewart up into the top five. Looking racy here late in that cart, number 21. Out front, it saves the same. Bryson Smith now seven and a half. Tenth of a second out front for cart number two. 39 complete this time around. Going to be 11 to go. Forty-two complete this time around. Got eight laps to go in the Junior Two Max Daddy. Bryce and Smith now one point one seconds out front. In his chop shop back to part number two, doing it in dominating fashion here as we're clicking down the laps. Going to be forty-four complete this time around. Six to go. Five fingers in the air from Flackman Jerry Strickland this time around. 45 complete. Five laps for the Junior 2 Max Daddy for 2024. Right now looking good for Bryson Smith as he clicks off another lap out front. Full straightaway advantage now for that cart number two. Good three cart battle for second. Declan Willis, Foster Smithies, and Colin Stewart right there in the mix. Smithy's going to take that second spot away in turn one. All well behind your leader. Now 48 down, two to go. Bryson Smith to the white flag. Final time around to seal the deal for the Junior 2 Max Daddy for 2024. Out of Graham, North Carolina, bringing it off turn number four. Bryson Smith to the start finish line. Going to be your winner. Bryson Smith just checked out on him there in the second half. About 2.5 seconds at the finish over Foster Smith. who is second. Declan Willis, third. Colin Stewart and Cowboy Carter to round out the top five for the 2024 Junior 2 Max Daddy.
Get all the Bryson Smith crew out here to the front stretch, please. Down here on the front stretch to grab a word with our second Max Daddy winner here for the night, taking it in Junior Two. Driving this fast part number two. Gonna get the big congratulations down here. Team owner Ian Wallace. How about that, Bryson Smith, man? I don't know what to say about that. You started out front. You pretty much put it to him in the first leg, but the only thing that could really bring the field to you there. And that race was a competition caution, but you were able to get away at the finish. You had over two and a half seconds at the finish. You had about a full straightaway there. Just come out here in dominating fashion. Do it to him here for the Max Daddy. Got to feel pretty good. Yes, sir. I feel amazing. This is a repeat for me. So it's one of the best moments of my life. You got some. Uh, you got some people over here. You want to thank? I already. I already saw. Uh, I already saw uh, Chop come over here and give you a big hug. Yeah, I gotta say a big thanks to Chop. He's one of the best tire mans I've ever met. I thank uh, mom, my dad, my brother, Corrupt Clutches, PMP Speed Shop, Premier, Nitro Gears, uh, Ken, and uh, that's about it. Uh, just thank everybody for coming out and having a good race. All right, there you go. Your big winner for the Junior 2 Max Daddy for 2024 out of Graham, North Carolina, Bryson Smith. We'll get the pictures taken with Bryson and his crew down here. When we get our Junior 3 Max Daddy down here situated on the grid. You guys are next on track. You should be down there ready to crank those engines. Junior 3. Last call to the grid for the Junior 3 Max Daddy. Get ready to fire those engines. You folks are looking for a bite to eat. All hot food is now half off over here at Concession. All hot food, 50% off over here at Concession on the front stretch. Three classes left to go here tonight. Got our Junior 3s, our last Junior class of the evening. Getting ready to roll off the grid.
All right, set to go for their 50 lap main event, the Junior 3 Max Daddy for 2024. 21 cards for two 25 lap segments. Starting out front, driving card 56 with the pole earlier here today with a time of 10 point. 939 seconds going to be Logan Walston going from second, driving the 40B. Kyler Bronson from third, the 96 of Brayson Riddle from fourth, Jaden Cordell in the 317 and starting fifth. Cooper Kidd driving cart number 28. Six through 10 on the grid. Ranker Ridley, Daniel Cole, Regan Shelton, Clay Bellamy, and Landon Gatlin. Again, 50 laps here, two 25 lap segments to crown the Junior 3 Max Daddy for 2024. Super Heavy, you'll be next out. Be getting them ready. Logan Walston brings them off turn four. We're underway for our first attempt, and Walston rockets away off of turn two. Firing off strong here at the front. Walston going to lead lap number one. Kyler Bronson, Brayson Riddle, Jade, and Cordell as they run. Contact for third, and down to the inside is Cordell going to lose spots off four. Jaden Cordell still up the hill trying to find his way down the line. Going to lose five, six, seven spots off turn two. Costly lap there for the 317. Walston still leading at Kyler Bronson and Cooper Kidd, your top three. Riker Ridley, quick lap of the race early. Last time, 11.217 runs fourth. Ridley in the 81. Brayson Riddle in the 96. Both showing speed there back in the fourth and fifth spots. Still early in this one, just five laps complete. Brayson Riddle been the fastest card on track these last two laps as he'll look to the inside to take that fourth spot away and does so in turn one. Now for a second, here comes Cooper Kidd with a late dive to the inside. Gets around the 40 of Bronson. Trouble front straightaway got one spun right up here towards the start finish line. Not going to be able to go. And for the first time in this one, we'll see caution. Seven laps complete.
back to caution. We got one spun back straight away. So still seven laps complete here. And we'll see our second caution this one. We got those first seven laps in before we had the first one. Cautions breed cautions. When we see it right here. But just a single card incident over there on the back run out the costume. It had another spin over here off the front. So going to be good news for that driver as well. So people to rejoin here. That's Lance Lewis, card seven. Working lap nine this time by. Logan Walt, a pretty comfortable lead now, about five card lengths over Kyler Bronson there in second. All classes up to this point have clear tech, and payout is ready. If you finished up at the pay window, payout is ready for all classes that have cleared tech up to now. Change for the second spot. Grayson Riddle around the 40 of Kyler Bronson. With 12 laps complete, Riddle starting to close the gap down here in three and four. Cutting about a cart length off every set of corners. Riddle's going to be here very soon. About another two sets of corners. He's going to be looking for the top spot. He to the back bumper of Walton off into turn one and two with 14 laps complete. Gives him the pressure off a of turn four. Look to the inside. Not enough to get there. Walston holds him off this time. Still Logan Walston able to fend him off here through 16 laps. Looks like Riddle's got the faster cart in that cart 96 right now. Back in second. Got Kyler Bronson, Riker Ridley, Cooper Kidd making up the top five spots here. Brayson Riddle shoving the leader up the hill off a of turn four. Slaughter off into turn number one. Brayson Riddle to the lead off a of turn two. 20 laps complete this time around. Grayson Riddle now by three card lengths over Logan Walston. 21 complete in our first segment for the Junior 3 Max Daddy. Change for third. Cooper Kidd to the inside. Takes a spot away from Kyler Bronson. Coming up now just two laps for the competition. Caution. Leaders in the slower traffic. Riddle gets through cleanly. Walston as well, able to close the gap here some. 
So we're 24 complete. Going to be coming towards the halfway signal here. Walston to within half a car length here. We're about to see the caution. Competition caution here and halfway is shown with 25 complete. 25 to go. The Junior 3 Max Daddy. It's been a strong run here for Brace and Riddle. Started back in third and had, did not take him long to get there. Nobody's really been able to hang with it there. Logan Lawson about his closest competitor. He'll be second on the restart. Cooper Kidd, Kyler Bronson, Riker Ridley will be your top five when we go back green with 25 down, 25 to go. Six through 10 when we get back going. Jaden Cordell, Clay Bellamy, Holden Myers, Daniel Cole, and Charlie Coger. 25 laps to crown a max daddy for Junior 3 here in 2024. Then we'll have two more after that here this evening. We need super heavy getting ready. Start making your way towards the grid. Your race is next. The super heavy max daddy next out. Let's be putting them in the grid. With 25 complete, we're back green flag racing. Brayson Riddle. Trying to hold that lead. He's got about, about a cart lead now. Cooper Kidd at the 28, looking down low for a second. Walton tried to shut the door. He wasn't able to do it. Now Walton going to get sent up the hill off a of turn two. There's contact. We got one up and over back straight away. And with the 81 of Riker Ridley upside down, back straight away. Came back down on all fours. He's going to get that one cranked back up. He's going to be able to rejoin here. That's a tough driver there. He's going to try to see if that thing's still going to roll in the right direction here. Riker Ridley, after taking that vicious ride down the back straight away. It's going to rejoin the tail end of the field here with 27 complete. Yep. Again, all hot food is half off over here at Concessions if you want to grab something to eat before they wrap it up here for the night over here. All hot food now half off at Concessions. Twenty-seven laps complete here. Brace and Riddle bringing it back off turn four, back to green with twenty-three to go. 
Logan Walston making it wide there for second for a moment. Now looking to the inside for the lead. Not able to get a dose to the back of that 96. It's still bracing Riddle now through 29 laps. Walston runs second. Here comes Kyler Bronson for third with a slider down the back of the three. Jaden Cordell to fourth. Clay Bellamy into the top five here. Cordell to the inside. Going to pick up another one. He'll go to third. He'll bring Bellamy with him to fourth. I don't know if they've got enough time to get back to the top two. Grayson Riddle and Logan Walston. They've got about 12 cart lanes back to third place here with 32 complete, but now we've got a caution. This is going to bring the field together. Got another one stopped over here at the top of turn four. Actually, a couple carts involved here. So back to the caution. We go with 31 laps complete. All right, we're going to be stopping them down here in turn one. We do have driver. They're going to be getting checked out over here off of turn four after this last incident. And we will be bringing these cars to a stop here momentarily on the front straightaway with 31 laps complete. Super Heavy Max Daddy, let's be making your way down to the grid area. Next on the racetrack, Super Heavy Max Daddy can be making your way to the grid.
Back underway with now 19 laps to settle it for the junior three max, Daddy. Brayson Riddle snakes him down the back stretch on the restart, holds that lead off of turn four. Walston, Brunson, Cordell, and Bellamy all right there for the lead. And we're clicking the laps down here. Brayson Riddle hasn't really fired off like we've seen earlier in the race. Hasn't been able to jump away from him. It stays tight off of turn four. Now here comes Walston to the inside for the lead in turn one. He'll get a nose there. Walston to the point off of turn two. Logan Walston to the lead now with 35 down. 15 to go. Riddle second and Cordell now in the mix in third. Clay Bellamy to fourth. Clay Bellamy already a winner here today. Looking to pick up the one he came for as we got a spinner front straight away. Got a cart around on the top of the track here going into turn one. Caution out here again. It's going to be 36 complete. Back underway, now make it 37 laps complete. Walston opening the advantage here on the restart. Trouble over here in turn two. Got a card spun in the back of the field. And caution here. Got another caution. One card up here at the top of turn two, not able to get back going. Still 37 laps completed, this one. We do have 25 minute time limit per segment. We're pushing 20 minutes here with 37 complete. Still with 13 scheduled laps in this one.
Having a hard time getting this one back to the restart. And folks, we're still 37 laps complete. We are past 22 minutes on the clock here. Getting these segments 25 laps or 25 minutes. Hopefully we can get this one back going and get it to the checkered. Once we hit the time limit, the next flag will end it. Going to be at about 23 minutes when we go back green with 13 laps to go. Logan Walston, Brayson Riddle, Jaden Cordell, Clay Bellamy, Holden Myers, your top five contenders here. And now Walston going to bring the field down to a crawl to the restart zone. That's his prerogative as the leader. And he's bringing him down just about as slow as you can. Now going to launch. Green flag in the air. And that's going to get a big lead for the top three. Walston, Riddle, and Cordell. Huge gap back to fourth place. Clay Bellamy and the rest of them. Forty laps complete, ten laps to go here. Here comes the ninety-six back for the lead. Brayson Riddle to the inside. He'll take the top spot away. Jaden Cordell able to get through for second. Brayson Riddle working on a 10. Current length advantage now. 43 down. Seven to go. Cordell, Walston, and Bellamy going to fight for that second spot. It's all cart number 96. Brayson Riddle leading the way now with 44 down. and six to go. Logan Walston back to second off a of turn two. Here comes Clay Bellamy for third. going to be a tall task to get to that card 96 of Brayson Riddle. 46 laps complete. Still well out front of the field here. 1.1 seconds out front. Good battle for second as we're down to three to go. Less than two to go in this one now. Brayson Riddle wheels the 96 through three and off turn four. Coming down to the white. Final time down through turn three and four. Checkered flag is out and the junior three. Max Daddy for 2024 goes to the 96 of Brayson Riddle. We're down here on the front stretch to grab a word with our big winner, Brace and Riddle. For you folks up here in the stands, you folks at home. Brace and you started there in the third spot.
And uh, man, you you pretty much had the cart to beat there. I saw you you were riding in second there for a little while, but it looked like you knew you had the cart that, that could go really whenever you wanted to on that on that second segment. I saw you step on it there with about ten laps to go, and uh, you were you were pretty much gone from there, man. They weren't able to get to you. Pick up the big win here for the junior three. Man, I see you passing out some money down here, Victory Lane. What's that all about? Yeah, man. Um, uh, you know this is we've been trying for this one for so long. Um, it's glad that we can finally get it done. We had a good race there. Um, we went two for three. We probably could have went three for three, but you know, driver, you know, he sucks. So, um, but yeah, overall we had a very good day and uh. You know, we've been trying for this one for a long time. Wait, when you were in second there behind that fifty six, did you did you feel like you really you really could have gone any there in that second segment? Because it really looked like uh this was this was the card to beat, but it, it, it took you a little while to make that move. But like I said, once once you did, you were uh you were pretty much gone and away with it. Yes, sir. Uh you know, I, I knew it was twenty to go. I knew it was firing back off, but it took three or four laps. I was just hoping the caution would stay away. Um on the longer run, every single time it got better. It didn't matter what lap we was on; it just continued getting better. Um, Austin White had us ripping for sure. That's some good help to have. We're gonna let you get over there with Austin. Everybody else down here, at Victory Lane. Grab some Victory Lane pictures here before we get underway with our super heavy main. Austin's down here in the pictures. I think he's got to get ready for a race coming up here in just a minute. We need stock super heavy. Max Daddy down here to the grid for your fifty lap. We're coming up next on the racetrack. Super heavy. Should be down here. I need a new 219 chain. I need a 77 tooth wrist sprocket. I need, I need some more chain lube, and I need it probably as soon as like tomorrow. Mm hmm. Dude, are you even listening? Like, we need this to run this weekend. Want anything else? What do you mean? I already got it in the car on Acceleration Kart Racing's online store, bro. All orders over $200 get free shipping. Oh, um, throwing a set of tires. Done. Everything you need, all in one place, and shipped to your door for free on orders of $200 or more. Exclusions apply. Shop AKR.com. Are you looking for an advantage in your competition? Well, car class has done the hard work for you. We have traveled to your right. Get behind the wheel from Formula One to NASCAR and IndyCar. All the pros start here. information check us out online at mccarding.com or call us and go racing today
hablar y... Twenty-eight cards for fifty laps, starting from the top spot out of Emporia, Virginia. Driving car number seventy-five is going to be Austin Wyatt, going from second in car number seven. It's going to be Ryan Hefner from third, driving car twenty-nine. Donnie Nall from fourth in the one nineteen will be Tim O'Connor, and from fifth spot on the grid, driving car number ninety-nine, Mont Newsome. Six through ten, it's Wendell Javis. Rob Sanders, Ty Bennett, Mitch Hendricks, and Bryce Overton. 11 through 15 on the grid. Joseph Beasley, Dalton Davis, A.J. Pace, Daniel Shacklett, and Coltrane Palmer. 16 through 20, Josh Carter, Mitchell Bridges, Cody Thompson, Jared Beasley, and Hunter Scarborough. Again, 50 laps, 225 lap segments here. For the super heavy Max Daddy. The Hub Breaker Press Machine of Austin Wyatt leads them off a turn four for the first time. We're green. Wyatt and Hefner lead the charge down through three and four for the first time in stock super heavy. And they'll fan out three wide down the front stretch and we'll get that first lap in. Now new leader down the back. Hefner to the inside with help from Donnie Knoll. Two laps, two different leaders in this one. Ryan Hefner, Donnie Nall looking to make it leader number three, and he does. Three laps, three leaders. Donnie Nall from third on the grid leads them off a turn two. Monk Daddy to fourth. Rob Sanders into the top five. And here comes Ty Bennett down low. Ty Bennett going to pick up a spot. He'll go to fifth. And here comes the seven. And there's the caution as we got one spot to the bottom of turn four. Green flag back out as Tim O'Connor returns sideways all the way down the front straightaway there. He's still on the outside losing spots in three and four. And we got one up into the fence here off the fourth corner. Buries it in hard. Caution out here once again.
Just four laps complete here. Donnie Nall leading it. Monk Newsom diving down low on Austin Wyatt for a second. Five minutes and fourth, Tim O'Connor up into the top five. Everybody chasing Disco Donnie here early with six laps complete. Not a good corner there for Nall. Here comes Monk Newsom. Monk Newsom to the back bumper, looking low for the lead. Down the back straightaway, Monk Maddy to the point in turn three. And with him to second. The two drivers in this one out of Emporia, Virginia, run spots one and two. Newsom in first. Why in a second? We got one hard over back straightaway. A vicious lick. Driver up and out of the cart. Caution. Huge hit on the back stretch. Eight laps complete here. Okay, not going to number on that one just yet. And we're going to be stopping the field over here at turn two with eight complete.
We've got the field back rolling now. Going to be set to go back green with eight laps complete. And again, the Emporia, Virginia natives, Monk Newsom and Austin Wyatt, the neighbors, they do a whole lot of racing against each other. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe pretty much every weekend, wherever the big super heavy race may be. They're running spots one and two right now. Donnie Nall, Tim O'Connor, and Mitch Hendricks in fifth spot. We'll be going back green still early in segment one in this one. Last main event of the night, the Max Daddy main, the 50 lapper, the 3,000 to win. The one we all came to see hits the racetrack next. You guys need to be getting those cards ready. Back to green flag race and we go. Eight laps completed. A good launch for Monk Daddy. Gets away by cart length here on the restart. Donnie Nall to the inside of Austin Wyatt. Makes the move into turn one. Gets Wyatt up the hill. Wyatt going to lose three, four. By the time he gets back down the line, Wyatt train back to the sixth spot. Newsom still leading it, but Nall on the charge, and here comes Tim O'Connor up to third. O'Connor's got the strongest piece of them all right now as he reels to the back bumper of Nall. Once again, just shoves that 29 down the straightaway. Nall now to the inside of Monk Newsom, and it's going to be Newsom on the outside looking in. Losing spots down the back. He'll lose four of them. Tucks itself in line in fifth. Donnie Nall now to the point. Tim O'Connor to second with 13 complete. Mitch Hendricks to third. Ty Bennett to fourth. Here comes O'Connor. We've got another new leader in the turn four. It's Tim O'Connor in the 119 out front now. Ty Bennett going to pitch it to the inside of Mitch Hendricks for a second. Going to muscle him up out of the way. Hendricks still losing spots in three and four. They're side by side for third. Here comes Stevens in the 44. Works with Rob Sanders in the 44. Up into the fourth spot is Donnie Nall going to lose all kinds of time down off of turn two that time. Tim O'Connor, Ty Bennett, Monk Newsom. Rob Sanders and Mitch Hendricks, your top five with 18 complete. Ty Bennett starting to close the gap down for the lead. He's just one cart lead back in the 119 now. Five laps now short of the completion of segment number one. Mitch Hendricks picks up a spot there, goes back to fourth around the 44. Tim O'Connor by half a cart length now over Ty Bennett, 22 complete this time around. Newsom, Hendricks, Rob Sanders, and Austin Wyatt, quick lap of the race last time by, but he's all the way back in sixth. <laughs> Going to be 24 complete this time around. One lap to the halfway signal. <laughs> 25 complete this time. by. They'll change it for the lead. But we're going to go caution here. And they'll go back to the way they were scored at the end of lap 25. That's going to have Tim O'Connor, the leader, when we go back green. The caution does fly when they complete lap 25. So O'Connor going to go back to the front here, and we'll roll back off for our second segment.
Here we go, second segment as they'll rumble to life off a of turn four. Tim O'Connor bringing it back to green. 25 down, 25 to go for the Super Heavy Max Daddy. O'Connor, Bennett, Newsom going to give up a boast of John down in three and four. Hard into the back bumper of the 122. Shove Bennett up into O'Connor. They'll hold their positions. O'Connor still the man out front. Here comes Ty Bennett down low for the lead in turn one. New leader, Ty Bennett to the point off of turn two. Three wide into turn three, O'Connor. He was leading just a moment ago. Now he finds himself four wide down the front straight away. They were four wide for a moment for those spots. O'Connor still trying to find his way down in line. Now fuck Daddy back to the point in turn one. Newsom to the lead. Here comes Hendricks looking for second. Mitch Hendricks on the move. And don't count out Austin Wyatt. He's worked his way back up to fourth. After getting sent way to the back early. Wyatt has driven his way back up here to the lead battle. Here comes Bennett. Gets Newsom up the hill. There's big contact. Here comes Hendricks now to the lead. Mitch Hendricks from third to first. Wyatt now to second. 32 down, 18 to go. Don't look now. Donnie Nall has worked his way back up to fifth. And it's going to be Wyatt now looking to the inside for the lead off of turn two. Newsom back for second. Takes it away from Bennett. What a race this has been. Now with 34, 35 complete this time by. 15 to go. Bennett again to the inside of Newsom again. There's contact there. No love lost between those two drivers here tonight. Mitch Hendricks down to third. Newsom back to fourth. And that's Ryan Hebner running fifth in his car number seven. They're all chasing that 75. Austin Wyatt leading it now with 37 down, 13 to go. Not a good corner there for the 75. Here comes Ty Bennett closing the gap back down for the lead. Again, Ty Bennett going to launch off a of turn two, going to close up to the back bumper of Wyatt. 39 laps in the books. Ty Bennett, quick lap of the race. Last time around, 10.789 as the 122 coming to life here as we're coming down to 10 to go. Austin Wyatt knows he's got company. How wide can he make that court 75? He's got nine more laps to try to do it. And Mitch Hendricks back there in third. He may just be chasing them both down by himself. He may run out of laps. But that 505 is coming. It's still Wyatt leading the way. Make it 43 complete this time by seven to go. Bennett dives off into turn one. He'll take the lead. He catches Wyatt sleeping. Gets him up the hill. Wyatt going to lose about five cart leads. Ty Bennett now to the point. Clears himself for the lead, now trying to run away here. He doesn't want that 75 to be able to get back to him. Wyatt might not like the way he got passed right there. He may still have a shot at him, just about four cart lanes back. 45 complete, make it 46 this time out. We're going to have four to go. Ty Bennett from eighth spot on the grid, leading it here late with 47 complete. Wyatt trying to close that gap down. He's got it down to two lanes, to a cart length and a half. It's going to be two to go this time off of turn four. Wyatt's there looking for the lead in turn one and two. One cart length back of the 122 of Ty Bennett. They're going to be coming to the white flag this time off of turn four. Wyatt off of turn two to the back bumper. Not able to move him. Ty Bennett off a of turn four to the checkered flag and a score of the win. And Wyatt into the back bumper of him down here off a of turn two post race. Ty Bennett going to be your winner in a wild one there in stock super heavy. Austin Wyatt, Bunk Newsom, Wendell Chavis, and Mitch Hendricks going to be 
your top five finishers. Coming down here on the front stretch, going to get a word with our winner, Ty Bennett, taking it for the Super Heavy Max Daddy for 2024. Started the deepest in the field we've seen any of these winners here tonight for one of these big races. Man, you started back in the eighth spot. I knew it wasn't easy working your way up to the front. Y'all had a bit of a slam bang there. Uh, you knew some white. Y'all were all going at it there. You able to get this 122 up here to the front when it counted. Score the big win here today. That's got to feel pretty good. It feels real good, man. This has been on the bucket list for a while. Uh, last year, Jeremy couldn't go with me, so I had to do it by myself. Um, I wouldn't want to do it any other way. Why, Monk, all these guys, they're all damn good. Any one of us could win any given day. Uh, I tell Jeremy that every every weekend we race, there's like five or six of us that can win. I mean, that's just the truth. Um, so I'm very blessed. I don't thank God. Um, that man right there, the time and effort he puts into this go-kart uh, for allowing me to drive it. Um, I mean, I, I just can't thank him enough. Uh, D-Rock for joining us this weekend. Uh, Jonathan Cash, PNP, um, Premier for one of the best go-karts out there. Um, Hannah, Tina, Kevin, Scott for the clutches. He don't get to come with us as much as he'd like. Butterbean, I'm sure I'm missing somebody, but thank God most of all. But And Max is for putting on a heck of a show. Well, we appreciate you being here. Congratulations on the big win here. Stock Super Heavy Max Daddy here tonight at a social circle, Georgia, driving the 122 Georgia zone, Ty Bennett. But we will get his crew, his peoples down here, get some pictures taken while we get our last class down here to the grid. The Max Daddy, the last 50 lap of the night for $3,000 to win. Those drivers and crews need to be putting those cars in the grid area. Race time for our final main event here of the evening. Just a reminder, if you do not have a cart in this last class, we should have your transponder back to registration at this time. We're taking those up here at the scoring table where we're set up over here at the back side of concessions. Final main event of the night, the Max Daddy for 2024. Let's be putting them in a grid. It's race time.
All right, as the engines are getting fired to life, getting ready to roll out here on the Talladega Raceway Park to do battle for the 50 lapper for our final feature of the night for the $3,000 win, 2024 Max Daddy. is my best friend. And it's shaking big time. Look, Al, I don't like the way you're talking out there. <laughs> Damn, that's my friend. Everything held on from Jenny Rice, just like Robert's Robert. Starting out front out of Little River, South Carolina, driving the Dan Sox Repair Cart 705 here this weekend. Austin Yarbrough going from second out of Nashville, Georgia, driving the 41S. Kaysen Sinclair from third on the grid out of Maryville, Tennessee, driving the 18 in. Jacob Nibel from fourth spot out of South Carolina, driving the 151 will be Bradley Carter from fifth out of Copper Hill, Virginia. Thomas Underwood driving the 801. Low excitement, Chase Williamson out of Lake City, South Carolina from 6th in cart 40. Josh Darnell from Shelbyville, Tennessee, driving cart number 8, going to go from 7th. Cameron Lambert, Gaffney, South Carolina native, driving the 41 Chop Shop back rod, going to go from 8th. Jason Scruggs out of Anderson, North Carolina from 9th. Steven Adams out of Four Oaks, North Carolina, going to go from 10th in cart 92. Andrew Dove from 11th, Kyle McAllister from 12th, then Cole Johnson, Shea Chavis, Bryson Murray, Tyler Blasek, Ethan Endicott, Dylan Tav, Austin Banker, and Daniel Armstrong, your top 20 starters, and your four transfers from those B mains, those Consies, from 21st going to be Hunter Adams. From 22nd, Daniel Simmons, 23rd, Braden Parsley. And your 24th and final starter, the 341 of Cooper Quick.
Here we go. The 2024 Max Daddy is green with Yarbrough. Leads the charge off into turn one. Kaysen Sinclair hangs with him in second. First time down the back straightaway. It's Yarbrough with the lead into turn three and four. We'll see if we get him back here with one lap complete. We do. First lap in the book screen. Bradley Carter to second. Here comes a dive for third. That's Thomas Underwood picking up spots here early. He started fifth. Already up two spots on the grid. Thomas Underwood out of Roanoke, Virginia. Winner of the biggest single payer in go-kart racing history when he won that $51,050 win race a few seasons ago. Works his way up into the third spot in the 801. Last year's money winner. 137,000 plus for Chase Williamson and team last season as he'll flash down to the inside up to that third spot. Williamson the third. Josh Darnell giving a good drive here tonight. He's running fourth in that car number eight. Williamson looking for second. He'll get Carter up the hill down to the inside. He'll take that second spot away. Darnell the third. Underwood the fourth. Yarbrough has set sail, but remember, we've got a competition caution coming at 25. We're eight laps complete this time by. We've been clean and green since the drop of the green. Austin Yarbrough by 1.1 seconds over Chase Williamson. And we're now nine laps complete. Williamson about a tenth and a half better that last time by in that cart number 40. We'll check the interval this time by Yarbrough at an 88, Williamson at a 66. He was two-tenths of a second better that last time by Williamson, still closing that gap down. 10, 6, 2, 8 for Williamson. Now a quick lap of the race as the gap down to less than 10. Cart leans for the lead. Chase Williamson started back in sixth. It didn't take him long to get up here to second. These last few laps, he has been faster than your leader. Josh Darnell, new quick lap of the race, 10.548 back there in third. As I say that, Williamson picks it up to a 5-3-1. And still Austin Yarbrough leading it. With 15 complete, he's led them all, but that lead is shrinking. Couple cart lengths each and every lap. Chase Williamson closing that gap down for the lead. Just a half a second now. Separate your top two. Yarbrough for Williamson. 18 complete this time around. All green so far in the Max Daddy main. Not a good set of corners for Yarbrough there. Williams, they got to close about three, four cart lengths more. Now down to five cart lengths for the lead. The 40 machine is marching. The PNP speed shot by cart of Chase Williamson. Closing the gap down. He's to three leads. Down to two leads for the lead. Williamson's going to be there by the time we get to turn three for the top spot. 22 laps complete. Chase Williamson looking for the lead. Bobbled a bit that time. Yarbrough able to pull away one cart length here in the 705. Going to be 24 complete this time around. One lap short of halfway. Twenty-five laps now complete. We'll be looking for that competition caution. There it is. Caution's out. Here at halfway.
And back to green here for our second segment. Yarbrough makes that 705 wide down the back. Leaves no room to the inside for Williamson. Now we've got caution. Yellow flag is out. Spin top of turn number two. Green flying back out, top two, jump away, 25 laps complete. Austin Yarbrough and Chase Williamson up here at the front. Got Josh Darnell third, Bradley Carter fourth, and Cole Johnson up into the top five. Monster restart, though, for your top two. Nobody able to hang with them. Yarbrough and Williamson still in command with now 28 complete this time around. Williamson looks like he's got the cart that could go to the lead anytime he wanted. And I think it's going to be now. There he goes to the inside. We got a new leader off of turn two. Low excitement. Chase Williamson from sixth on the grid. Now leading, but he's not getting away from Yarbrough. Yarbrough pulls back to his back bumper at three and four, giving him a challenge back for the top spot down the front. Darnell still runs third. Bradley Carter fourth. Johnson, Lambert, Adams, Simmons, Armstrong, and Banker, the rest of your top 10. 33 laps now complete. Chase Williamson over Austin Yarbrough as your leaders off a of turn two and down the back. Back down to the inside for the lead comes Yarbrough in turn one. The same move Williamson was able to make on him just about three or four laps ago. Now Yarbrough back to the lead in that 705. Austin Yarbrough by two lengths, by three lengths, now over Chase Williamson. Yarbrough slow off a of turn two that time. Williamson right back to him for the lead. 37 down, 13 to go in this one. Williamson knocking on the back door off a of turn two. Had him a little bit crossed up that time. It's still the 705 holding on to it, but he can feel the pressure back there. He knows Williamson is there. Yarbrough sideways off a of turn for Williamson. Right there, he could have taken a look that time. He chose not to. Keeps the 40 tucked in there. Second is will be coming to 40 complete this time by 10 to go. Yarbrough up the hill. Williamson to the lead and Yarbrough going to have to let him go. Williamson back to the point off of turn four. Now 41 complete. Nine laps to settle it. Forty-three in the books this time around. We've got seven laps to go. 
Yarbrough doing everything he can to stay within the tire track, stay within striking distance to that car number 40. Less than six to go now. Going to be the five to go signal when they get here this time from Flagman Jerry Strickland. Five fingers in the air. Who's it going to be taking home the 2024 Max Daddy? We're going to find out four laps from now. 46 complete. Four to go. And Yarbrough's there. Half a cart length to the back bumper of that 40 machine. 47 complete now. Three to go. Williamson a bit stronger off of turn two. Yarbrough seems to be better down in this set of corners. Gets back to him here down the front. White flag when they get here this time around. Last lap to settle it for the Max Daddy. Can Yarbrough get to him? Williamson clean off a of turn two for the final time. Down through turn three and four. And to the start finish, it was close there, but give it to Chase Williamson. And they'll spin it around in celebration up in turn two. Chase Williamson taking your 2024 Max Daddy here at Talladega. Chase Williamson, Austin Yarbrough, Bradley Carter, Cole Johnson, and Josh Darnell. Going to be your top five finishers here. As we'll wrap up our day of racing here at the Talladega Raceway Park, Chase Williamson, the PMP Speed Shop, cart number 40. Going to take the win to close us out for the night. And we'll jump down here in just a moment and grab a word with our winner. And a reminder out there in the pit area, we need to get those transponders back up here to the scoring table. We've still got, it looks like a good bit of you out there, still got some transponders. So let's get it back down here, please. the final time here tonight we're going to step out here onto the front straightaway to grab a word with our big winner here of the weekend the biggest class of the weekend we have 46 drivers trying to stand where this young man is right now chase williamson out of lake city south carolina man you didn't have the easiest race there uh probably not the the qualifying effort you were really looking for you started sixth in that one but uh I knew in that prelude race when you went out there and did what you did to him in that prelude race, you were you were telling him who was going to be the one to beat, and uh, it it came to be, especially in the second half of that race. You and you and uh, Austin had a had a good battle there. He gave you fit there for a while, but you were able to bring this thing home in here at the front, take another big win here this weekend. Yeah, man, that was that was a good race. Uh, I didn't want to. I knew I could hang him out and throw the right route to him, but I didn't want to be. I didn't want to drive like that. I wanted to beat him straight up, and I had to. Mess him up any, so I knew my cart was good. I got out front the first time and was fucking up driving, and I got back in second, and I was like, man, I, my cart's good. Ken's done bust this hill all day. I can't give up on him now. I got to fight a little harder. And uh, I got back to the lead. I hit about every corner perfect, um, and that's what it was going to take to outrun you. Awesome. Yeah, and you definitely did here today. Again, you pick up another – Another big win here. This team's pretty much been on fire pretty much since you got into this thing. I was uh I was telling the people most of the people know here you uh you won the most money anybody last season. You start back off right back here this season strong looking to do it again in 2024. Going to add another $3,000 to it here tonight. I know you think folks you got anybody else you want to you want to thank down here at Victory Lane here tonight. Yeah. First off I want to say uh Premier Racing Chassis won every Max Daddy um but first, second off, I want to thank our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for keeping us all safe. Ken, man, that's my right hand man right there. He come back, and I told him he was going to get it. And, um, Austin, Hermie, Jeff, Robin, back at the shop, they give me an awesome go-kart to drive. Jonathan, Ken fills in for me. He ain't here, but I feel like if Jonathan was here too, I feel like I would have been just as good. Um, everybody back at the pits, Laura Catherine, the Riddles, uh, Danny White, um, the Myers, just everybody, Nitro Gears, 
Scott Lindesigns, Crook Clutches, uh, PNP Speed Shop. Uh, I don't even know who else. Well, you got a long list of them there, and I know they're all happy to be part of this operation. Again, congratulations. Picking up the Max Daddy for 2024. Going to be Chase Williamson. And that will do it for the race in action here this weekend at the Talladega Raceway Park. We thank you all for being here. Folks, if you still want to get your victory lane pictures taken, that's going to be available for about 34 minutes down here over at Talladega Raceway Park Victory Lane. Again, we thank you folks so much for coming out here this weekend to Talladega, Alabama, joining us for the 2024 Max Daddy. Officially, we had 433 entries on the day. We had some of the best racing we've seen here anywhere in a long, long time. So thanks to all, all you folks for coming out. Thanks to you drivers for putting on the show for us here this weekend. Again, a reminder, we do need to get those transponders turned back in down here to the scoring table. If you haven't done so already, we've still got a lot of those out here in the pit area. Need to be turned back in, please. And again, if you've cleared tech, you want to get your victory lane pictures taken. They are doing that down here at victory lane as we speak. We have about for the next 20 to 30 minutes. Take advantage of that.